that egg in the postseason. Lastly, I just want to talk to Tony. Hey, you know what? You had the cojones to call where these keyboard warriors sit there and type things out, make sure it's spelled, auto-check, all that good stuff. You just had the cojones to do it. But you know what? Lay off the palm oils. I'm out. Matt in Green Bay. <laughs> Lay off the palm oils. It's good advice. Things don't always end terribly for Wisconsin teams. Often, but not always. I mean, dang, the Bucks did win it all. The Packers are on the come up. The Bucks did win it all. Then they fired the coach that won it all. Then they hired a first-time coach who went 30 and 13. Then they fired him. Then they brought in Doc Rivers who went 17 and 19. So you got me there. Clowns. And now Giannis is not right. I, I just, I took that phone call, but that Rick Carlisle troll job was just so deadpan and so awesome. What I'm saying is, you know, my dude cannot wait to get a chance to knock these dudes the hell out. And you know he's going to have his team all over Milwaukee from the very start of this series because they want to get a boot on their throat before Giannis does come back. So my advice to you, Doc, you better coach them the hell up. Even if we all know that's really not possible or you would have done so already. But like I said, there is a bright side. And you know me, I'm always looking for the bright side of things. You cannot blow a 3-1 series lead if you yourself are trailing three games to one, which you probably will be. Fracas, uh, I mean, Mila, Mila, if 30 Mila. and 13, if 30 and 13 was not good enough, I'm pretty sure that a first round ass kicking by the Pacers will be even worse. Then how do you can explain that? If 30 and 13 wasn't good enough, what about going out in the first round? And don't even try and blame it on Giannis being banged up. Doc will probably just point the finger at the road crew and then remind everybody that he had no idea why the Bucks hired him in the first place. That it was never his idea, that he had no idea what they were thinking. You know, the very thing that we all thought when they hired you, Doc. It's going to be really interesting. Hey, Tony, there's always tomorrow, my guy. For the ones who get it done, Granger is offering supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as access to product experts ready to answer your toughest questions. Call or click Granger.com or stop on by. My thanks to Ben Golver, Washington Post National NBA writer, Derek Shelton, Pirates manager, the XR4TI, Tony in Phoenix, and you clones. All right, so we got the playing games tonight. There will be a lot to talk about tomorrow. Be sure you show up for that. Be sure you show up tomorrow with good takes coming off those games. How can you not? Frisco fan. We'll know. We'll know. Are the Lakers going to melt down? Will Sacramento light the beam? All of that tomorrow. See you, Rob. Gas, groceries, utilities, you name it. The price of everything is going up. And if you're stuck in a bad timeshare with rising maintenance fees, the financial burden can be crushing. It is time to get your finances in order and get the real facts about that timeshare that you are stuck in and your options to get rid of it. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has been helping families out of horrible timeshares for over 10 years and has put together a complete timeshare exit information kit that he will send you absolutely free. To date, over 30,000 families have trusted Wesley Financial Group to help them out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. Get the facts about how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Simply call Wesley now for your free timeshare exit kit and see how you can become timeshare free. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. Once again, 800-462-3333. The Brunch is back. The famous Brunch Buffet at Fifth Street Hardware has a variety of breakfast and lunch items from 10.30 to 2, including an omelet station and prime rib, and a special Sunday cocktail menu, including mimosa flights. Don't forget, Fifth Street Hardware has lunch specials every day. 
along with over 40 beers on tap. Trivia Wednesday, live music every Thursday night, and a late night menu through the weekend. Visit FifthStreetHardware.com or give them a follow on Facebook and Instagram for a weekly lineup and more. Go Pirates! Ahoy, Pirates! It's Lindsey Gray with Carolina Caliber. Winter ship has sailed and it's time to spring into turkey season. Stop by, mention this ad, and we will give you a set of Primo's Pattern Turkey Targets to help you get sighted in. Speaking of spring, we're cleaning house with deals you can't miss. Tune in weekly for details, and don't forget, we've got the largest selection of firearms and accessories in Eastern NC, and over 60 years of experience in helping meet your firearm needs. Shop online or come see us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. It's a time-honored tradition. <laughs> Spring is a great time to plant flowers, trees, and bushes. When planning your landscape, please keep in mind that you should never plant anything within three feet of a gas, electric, or water meter. The same thing applies if you have an electric transformer in your yard, except keep plants eight feet clear of the front in case crews need access during a storm or an outage. Always remember to call 811 at least three business days before you dig to avoid underground lines. This important safety message is from your neighbors at Greenville Utilities. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up! Give me that ooey gooey, crispy, crunchy, mouth watering. Give me that creamy, dreamy, meaty, topping, pepperoni, popping. Give me that crispy, coated, hey, Papa John's. Better get you some. Try the trio before it's gone. Hey, Pirate fans, Papa John's is the MVP move for game day or any day. Place your order online at papajohns.com and sign up for Papa Rewards. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Go Pirates. Captain Bo Brooks, what's happening at Pirate Waters Outfitters this spring? Well, we have restocked with all new apparel from Marshware and AFCO. We got the new turtle boxes coming in, the River Rock color, and I always suggest that you cook your fish in a smithy, and the new smithy is in as well. We have a fly cave in the back with all you need to catch fish on the fly, and tie your own fly wall where we have all the accessories and products you need to tie your own flies. We are Pirate Water Outfitter on Market Street next to Break and Bread, home of Camacho Rodworks. Spring is in the air at your CBD store. Get 10% off any purchase? Just mention the code SPRING. If you struggle with sleep, anxiety, or pain, their CBD wellness specialist can help. Your CBD store's unique boutique also carries THCA flour and pre-rolls, Delta gummies, pet products, gifts, jewelry, and more. Call ahead for pickup at 999-5127. So spring on over to your CBD store today. Open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 7. Your CBD store, 420 East Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Go Pirates! For years, Callie Ann Phelps has been singing about Phelps Chevrolet. Phelps Chevrolet is the one for you. Low, low prices, service too. See the big dealer right away. Carolina's finest, Phelps Chevrolet. And you'll agree with what Skyler Phelps has to say. Nobody beats Phelps Chevrolet's prices. Nobody. The name you can depend on. Phelps Chevrolet. Get you one. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. Can you be quiet, please? Thank you. Welcome to Pirate Radio Live. How's everybody doing? You already know, my guy. I'm a current log snapper. T Top 5, man. That's all I'm going to say. We're blue collar, we're hard workers, that's who our fans are, that's who our school is. Cliff, what's up? It's Brad. Loneliness is worse than um, than COVID. <laughs> it's, a proven, it's a proven fact. Get I don't want a stalker. Bro, what are we doing here? Bro. Just a bunch of dudes sitting in a room talking into sticks, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the oh. You can't say that. Cliff, thank you for letting me hijack the show. If it wasn't funny, then let's blame it on the duck. <laughs> now live from the Pirate Radio Studios in the heart of the Pirate Nation, here is your host, 
Cliff Brock. All right, welcome in to a Tuesday edition of Pirate Radio Live. Cliff Brock here inside the Pirate Radio studios. Coming to you on Pirate Radio 92.7 FM in Greenville, 104.1 in Washington. We're on 1250, 930 online, PR927FM.com. And we'd love for you to hang out with us on Facebook Live and YouTube as we uh, have a packed show for you today. A lot of topics to hit, a lot of guests to get to. And uh, we want to know what is on your mind on this Tuesday as well. Uh, coming up on today's show, as I said, guest heavy, Coach Mac. Mac McCarthy joins us here, hour number one, to talk about everything going on in the world of sports. Hour two, we will talk to Amy Gardner, uh, the head softball coach at Pitt Community College and some of the Bulldogs players as uh, they are running some fundraisers for one of their players diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I will tell you about that coming up in hour number two of today's show. The Mully Man, Mike Mullis, joins us in hour two to talk pirate baseball, golf, and more. And also in hour number two, ECU Club Baseball got some highlights over the weekend as the big donkey steven shock was at their game against nc state club baseball pirates were number one facing the number three wolf pack and beating the wolf pack and we'll talk to shay ward a member of that team coming up uh in hour number two on today's edition of pirate radio live hour three bryce williams is in his normal tuesday slot uh he'll talk to one of his former teammates cj struck the struck family just gave a large gift to east carolina uh, with the pirates unite campaign we'll talk to cj about that fishing on the open water and of course some football as well and uh it appears we have some tight end news to talk about with bryce williams coming up in hour number three and b-man brandon manning will join us for our farm bureau ecu baseball report and chan let me introduce you because i have a question for you so i need you to talk hello chandler hello clipper uh what time is baseball today six o'clock okay so we'll be previewing that one uh leading you right up to first pitch east carolina taking on the tribe of william and mary on the road today on flow sports only on flow sports shirley rhodes is here intern zach is here we're intern heavy zach running the video and i guess we found something for brett and delaney to do they are here as well a harp may or may not be here he texted me earlier he's got a lot going on uh we do have plans for an intern spelling bee and i believe we'll do that next tuesday on the show okay alex harper one of the worst spellers i've ever met in my life <laughs> this because, probably could be a challenge that he loses finally could he pull a shocker though we'll uh, we'll see how good the the interns are at spelling uh coming up soon hey mark alexander's here as well uh coach mac how you doing over there in your corner sir i'm good i'm good had uh had a big weekend watching the masters and then of course had the big WNBA draft last night which probably uh, had more viewership than it's had in total uh in the past i'm not i don't even i I assume that it's been televised in the past to be honest i've paid attention to it but not necessarily to watch it but uh goodness gracious it got it certainly got some viewership last night and uh uh no you got softball guests coming up you know the last couple years you know softball going crazy then women's basketball going crazy it uh you know you've got some movement in the viewership of uh college athletics that is interesting and uh and i have been one of those viewers uh did not watch the WNBA draft had no interest in that but watched uh quite a bit i watched a lot of ecu women's basketball uh, but then beyond that, watched uh, the NCAA, w, uh, the women's NCAA tournament, as well as the Final Four and the championship. Good for you. Yeah, I'm uh, progressing here as I get older. Um, you and a lot of other people jumped on that bandwagon. I will see if that continues without the draw of Caitlin Clark. And I don't yeah. know that it will. Well, maybe not in those numbers, but I, I certainly think the uh, the the growth of the game will continue. There's there is more interest in uh, having the, you know, right right now they get a lump sum for their um, as part of an overall TV package for college women's basketball, women's college basketball. Uh, there's some talk about uh, you know differentiating that sec, you know, separating that from the overall package and actually doing units per win per per advancement like the men do. A lot of people people are pushing for that those numbers are not really all that significant but when you're out drawing the uh, the men's tournament uh, you would you would think those numbers would would grow astronomically certainly uh all right um we've got some news 
24 7 sports Shocking. portal uh, has confirmed that east carolina tight end shane calhoun will be uh entering and is already in that transfer portal man so a pirate tight end in the portal looking at that room right now sean we've got tyler savage who we talked to on friday who he didn't get to see got to talk to him on friday but didn't get to see him play uh on saturday due to an injury but i'm sure that we'll see plenty of him this fall especially with the uh, exit of shane calhoun we have entering from the portal casey kelly yep related to jim kelly really yes Jim Kelly's got a lot of relatives out there. And Chad yeah. Kelly. Some other, has some other quarterback uh, relations. Chad Kelly, yeah. yeah. Chad and, Kelly, yeah. And him and Casey Kelly are what? <clears throat> Brothers or cousins? Brothers. Brothers. Brother. You look very confused and not 100% on that. I'm not 100%. Okay. Either brothers or cousins. If we Sell find, it. Just say it. <laughs> brothers. <laughs> <laughs> if we find the family tree, uh, we will let you know on that all right what other tight ends are in the stable for east carolina um you have Antonio ferguson uh that we saw last year um trying to think somebody else desario riles so we had uh some youngsters last year uh riles there's a luke holmes not luke combs but luke holmes okay Mason Brown, he caught a pass the other day, didn't he, Chandler? Yeah, he did. Uh, from James Keenan that was in my conference at Lakewood. Antonio Ferguson. Uh, so there's still a lot of names in that room. Will there be production? Uh, I have somewhat hopes for, for Tyler Savage and, and Kelly. So I think we got something there. And, and maybe the coaches do, too. And Calhoun thought his days were numbered or his numbers were numbered anyway. Yeah, and he was battling an injury this spring, and I don't know how much that played into it. I, I do wonder what you know took him so long. What why wait this long to, I guess, make that decision to, to see I, where you are through spring? Although he did not participate, but, but he didn't in participate in spring. So this is, I mean, I could see him if he was to participate in spring, and then Casey Kelly or Tyler Savage maybe kind of get ahead of him on the roster spot. Um, I could definitely see that, but with him not playing, I wonder kind of what went through his mind i don't know i have a feeling um casey kelly is obviously a great tight end he played at Ole miss he john david baker brought him there and then he transferred to oregon after not playing much and got more touches at oregon and then he followed jdb here because we're more of a stature of a program that could use him so i have a feeling casey kelly is just more of a part of jdb's per, um yeah. deal and tyler savage played a lot last year and proved he knew what he was doing so it's probably a Shane Calhoun, you can probably move on type deal, if new, I had to guess. Yeah, new position coach as well. So a lot of newness and maybe just kind of lost the, the favoring of the coaches. I don't know. Yeah, you, you wonder. You see all these numbers going into the portal. And, of course, it opened yesterday or whatever. And then goes till the 1st of May or whatever the date is, 15 days. And you wonder how many of those are choices where people see – this isn't going to go well. I think I can do better or whatever. Or the coach is saying, uh, son, you're no longer a tight end. You're a, uh, you're a defensive lineman. In other words, you need to move on. <laughs> And you wonder how many are are people actually seeking a new situation, or people you know forced into because this is absolutely happening now with the portal. You almost have to to make your roster work. Uh, you've got to have the ability to quote unquote fire someone. Well, we we talked about this with you. This is uh, you coached pre portal, but you've had com- have you had conversations with guys that to kind of say, hey, you 100%. might want to look elsewhere. 100%. How do you put that delicately? You yeah, don't. You say you're not playing. You can be on the team. You can keep your scholarship, but you won't play. And you don't feel bad about that. I mean, obviously they. It's they, better to be up front than just I not guess. tell them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on why they're not playing. But uh, you know, if if we made the mistake and and uh, and they just aren't good enough, right? Then, yeah. then maybe there's a little regret in having that conversation. But if it's other reasons, oh, uh, if it's on them, they're not working as hard right. or they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Then there's then there's no regret in that situation. That makes more sense. So if you bring in a guy. And he is busting his tail and giving you everything he's got, but you just see it's not there. Is yeah. the conversation a little more delicate? Oh, very much. Okay. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to a guy that's yeah. just not giving you anything. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, and what what did you say, Coach Mack? Uh, Texas A&M? Yeah, like had 19 a, guys. 
<laughs> and again, you don't know whether that's 19 people seeking something new. They've got a new coach. They okay, went through yeah. the spring game, and now they're seeing, you know, we don't like what's going on here, or, or we're not going to have a chance to play, or maybe they've been told they don't have a chance to play. But regardless, replacing 20 guys, uh, you know, a, a fourth of your roster, uh, you know, of scholarship people, that's that's a big ask now. Well, that's like what ECU basketball is going through, right? Is that the equivalent where the Pirates right now have... And and how many of those are, are being told, you know, maybe you're not going to be a great fit here? Or What's how the number many at? Them? Seven? I would say seven, like I, five would be that case and maybe say, two aren't. I, I would say only two would be, you know, a shocker of, you know, we want them to stay, but they're moving on. Yeah. The rest is, hey, you might want to move on from here. The old addition by subtraction. Hey, we need to ask Coach Greg Hudson about that Texas A&M because his daughter is a part of the support staff on Mike Elko's uh, staff at Texas A&M. A little inside information here. We'll get that on Coach Thursday. Hud. And I'm sure he'll give us zero information. Oh, yeah. He'll make, I, I, he'll make you feel good about it, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you got, Zach? I yeah. heard that uh, probably most of ECUs were, were changing directions in our tactics. Yeah. Um, obviously, big Brandon guys. Johnson, That's not we did not want him to leave. Um, Ezra? Probably not. Probably not. Unless this year's lack of production changed something. All the Mike's others, head. maybe so. Yeah, I have a feeling probably. Yeah. Uh, let's check in with the chat gang because they are busy here on a Tuesday real quick. Steve says HTMFs, HT to you. He said he had a big daily fantasy sports win last night. Congratulations. Uh, Jerry says hello. Jerry's got a meeting in a few minutes. He will be missing the fantastic opening clip has in store. Is it about the results of the uh, clips on uh, last week? <laughs> Jerry, uh, just stay safe, buddy. We need you back here at some point. He's giving his study uh pj is in the house jamie is in the house he says hey now and baba booey to coach mac there you go coach jamie's the guy right do you know the reference to baba booey do you know you got to know what that's from what is it i I saw it but what is howard stern Stern oh okay were you ever a stern listener no i was more like when that was all going on i was probably more of an eye man than a stern guy okay and they were rivals Yeah, yeah exactly uh we've got austin saying calhoun to the portal ugh did i mention pj is here hello pj tyler PJ. says smash the like um tyler also pointing out was shane calhoun captain of the gold team i he believe was. he was yes, yes maybe was. the captain so mac we had our spring game purple versus gold maybe the captain of the losing team had to leave the it's university like relegation <laughs> we had, they had relegation in the spring game that's, well i'm glad that's tough. Well, if purple lost then Rajay Harris is out there. Rajay and uh, Chad Stevens. Uh, good good call there, Tyler. Uh, Steve has... So we have our Pirate Radio Challenge three-point contest out there. Thank you, Coach Mack, for the awesome commentary on that. That was fun. That was fun. You really ribbed a new one into all of us, for the most part. <laughs> uh, Steve has some suggestions. His top five Pirate Radio Live Challenge suggestions. You ready to hear them? Yep. Madden Tournament count me in although i hadn't played in a decade i still feel like i could do well in that free throw contest maybe a few more made shots than the three-point contest i would hope paper airplane design and throw Hmm. i got a feeling zach would be good at that seems like he'd be good at engineering or uh whatever you call that i feel like uh a heart would be good at that too cornhole tournament simple enough easy and arm wrestling tournament (laughs) i don't want shirley beating me in arm wrestling put on tape the voice of cornhole on espn is a really good friend of mine (laughs) that i used to work a ton of basketball games with and he was one of the guys that would travel during covid and he got he got they, they that was one of the big programming things that they used during COVID on ESPN. And all of a sudden, he found him a niche. And now he is the face and voice of Cornhole for ESPN. Jeff I, Jeff McCarriger is his name. I watched a lot of Cornhole during COVID. <laughs> and like East Carolina. They had East like Carolina. The, they had the colleges up there. And East Carolina was playing like, I can't remember. Seemed like but, all the tournaments were either Myrtle Beach or Rock Hill. Is he doing any other sports right now? Yeah, he, he still does other okay. sports, yeah. All right. Yeah. Might have to get him on this summer. He, if he, they got a he big event. Be glad to come That'd on. That'd be cool. And right. he's really good. All right. He's really good. Uh, speaking of people tuned in and giving suggestions, a great friend of mine and uh, proud sponsor of Pirate Radio, 
uh brian harris with 360 golf carts which by the way i've got i think an audio clip to play of his right yes or, you do yeah um and i sent it into the group chat but his son lincoln they listened to pirate radio on the replay every single morning and lincoln was a big fan of the uh have you scanned your mvp card and this is how it sounded <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, she hasn't done it. And Brian Harris said that Lincoln said that Shirley, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, when I saw the video, it took me about three tries to understand what he was asking for. First of all, because I was like, what is he asking for? Then I figured it out. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. But unfortunately, the last few days, I have been super busy. So I haven't had a chance to reinsert that into the uh open but hopefully by the end of the week it will return in the uh, pirate radio live open how about that all right there you go lincoln <laughs> a very cute demand from a child normally i don't i don't take too kindly to people telling me and demanding me <laughs> to do something but when it's a kid that cute all right, I'll let uh, it slide. Clearly a fan say, of the program. And he yeah. did say now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamie's got a better idea. He says get the kid in the intro. Maybe we could have both. Huh? Let me just put that in the radio. Now. 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 That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lincoln, we'll get on that, buddy. <laughs> uh let's see mike p says always talk about the great sports days throughout the year what about the worst sports days yesterday was one no basketball no football meaningless baseball mostly meaningless meaningless nhl wrong how so <laughs> boston marathon Back. See now that yeah. would be something Zach would yeah, be that's totally like to be into. Thing, but you yeah. understand, no, like it's a, a lot world, of people it, don't it, care about that. But in, in, think about this in the in the sport aspect. It's a major in that sport. So it'd it be is. like the PGA Championship in golf, the the Open, all that kind of stuff for marathoning. And it's, right. a, it's a very important lead up to the, the Olympics. Mac, were you into the, the, the Boston 500. Marathon yesterday? <laughs> No. 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 I'm sorry. The worst sports day of the year is the day after the All Star game, which is the day we play Pirate Radio Survivor here on Pirate Radio Live. Oh, that's right, because there's not that anything the on. Worst there's day. nothing on. Yeah. Absolutely. But we not. make it a great day here on Pirate Radio with the Survivor. Chad said there's no such thing as meaningless baseball. Yeah. Especially not during the day. 162 games. You give me White Sox versus Marlins on a tuesday afternoon i'm gonna say that's pretty mean it was white Sox versus a's yesterday wasn't it it was white Sox versus royals oh who played the, the, royals? the a's play it was 3-1 the bad team the cardinals the cardinals thank yes, you so. all right um, and they lost 3-1 yeah jamie said not gonna lie i'm listening to two live streams right now the hoosiers just picked up the number one player in the portal who made that player? arizona uh, kid, kid from arizona yeah i think so i saw it on twitter earlier charlotte got two pickups already too Oh yeah, yay! Big kid from Arizona. I saw it, but I didn't catch his name. The young blood guy from um, USF landed at Alabama. Is Mike Woodson? Oh, yeah, he's a good player. Is Woodson still at Indiana? Yes, coach. Barely. Yes, <laughs> barely. He's got one foot in and one foot out. Maybe. How about the uh, How about the press conference? Drawing thirty thousand people in. Oh, uh, Pope. Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. 30,000 were there in the arena? I don't know. It doesn't seat 30,000, so I don't guess it could, although maybe on the floor with seats right. there. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't look uh, it didn't yeah. look they, they claimed 30,000 were there, but uh but even 20,000, uh, you know, that that would have to break some records for a press conference, right? I would think so. And uh, They went from they went from oh no, not him to we love Pope I remember him on the uh, the championship team yeah. from back then, and they, and the, and that was I don't know who did this if the if it was the AD he's brilliant, but bringing the '96 championship team into the arena on the bus was absolutely gold. You got to hit that nostalgia and get the fans saying, "Oh that, man, this is Kentucky basketball right here." That yeah. was spectacular. And as bad as they were treating Cal on the way out, they were that good bringing the new guy in. Of course, you know the fans go through the thing where they they decide who should replace the coach right 
Then the AD hires somebody that's not on their list. So now they hate the coach, and then all of a sudden it hits them. He's our coach. Yeah. So they're back to loving him again. They're they're rationalizing that they love him again. So, hey, whatever works is fine. And he certainly has a little bit of momentum there, although I think Cal's taken all the good players off that team and all the signees, too. <laughs> he just took a, what, seven-footer, right? Yeah. Saw, uh, uh, to Arkansas with him. Yeah. The uh, Hoosiers question, by the way, was uh, I'm going to try to – I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Omar or Umar Ballo? Omar Palo. Oh, yeah. The big dude. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I know the big yeah. dude. He's yeah. going from Arizona to Indiana. Interesting. I wouldn't look to see Indiana as a premier destination. They also got Miles Rice over the weekend from Washington State. The answer is money. Down. What's the question? All right. Fair enough. And they're a, they're a basketball school. Do you know, Coach Mack, what, uh, where Mark Pope has been in his coaching career? Utah Valley and BYU. Um, I don't know as an assistant. He was an was. assistant at Wake Forest. Yeah, he was. With Georgia and BYU. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, was with Mark Fox at Georgia, and I think maybe Danny Manning maybe at Wake Forest. 2010-2011? Sounds about right. Close enough. 2010-11. Yeah, that would be that would be Manning replaced uh, Gaudio. Gaudio. So yeah. from Utah Valley to BYU. BYU... They like to run a little bit, right? Play up and down. Is that they? They play a fun style. They do. Yeah, they yeah. shoot a lot of threes and that kind of thing. Uh, one funny thing, and uh, you know, if it if it offends somebody, then it offends somebody. But obviously, they talked about Danny Hurley's wife kind of saying no. Then they talked about uh scott drew's family coming up and his wife kind of saying no the funniest tweet i saw the whole time was uh none of mark pope's wives said said no all right folks <laughs> oh i didn't say that One moment, don't please. send me an angry email <laughs> i didn't say it either I I didn't, coach mag didn't I, say I, it either <laughs> nobody said it I what are you talking about <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it was that nuts. <laughs> we played BYU in a football game. I, 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 it might have been Billy Weaver, but I took he. I, maybe it was me. I don't know. It was a dumb, hacky uh, Mormon wives joke or whatever. It was funny, and I got. You don't even know. It was like four years ago. You've told it three uh, times, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. But I got a the longest most scathing email ever oh so and, i've uh, got that coming huh? yeah that's uh actually ellerby might get it and he'll pass it along to you yeah it'll it'll go downhill from there the uh yeah i didn't say it i was just repeating one of the funnier things and, I and you said it wasn't funny right it yeah exactly absolutely <laughs> <laughs> it was despicable all right let's take a break we'll come back more to go coach mac uh talk a little masters oh i had an idea pirate radio challenge the Maxters. And we'll play Putt Putt. Now, how Mac comes in, maybe Mac plays. Maybe we get one of Mac's jackets, but it's called the Maxters. All right. Hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait because I love to play some Putt Putt. All right. He can compensate, and when whoever wins gets his jacket from yeah. when he beats State. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. We're going to have him I his think. entire wardrobe. The person I gave the tie to gave it away, so what <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Mac, where are your drawers from that night? <laughs> Do we know? Uh, we'll take a break. Come back. More to go after this. Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates. Country music artist and comedian Rodney Carrington is coming May 4th to Weldon Mills Theater, Eastern North Carolina's best entertainment venue. Conveniently located just off I-95 in Roanoke Rapids, Weldon Mills Theater offers a hassle-free entertainment experience with free parking, wallet-friendly concessions, and a cozy atmosphere. With comfortable seating throughout the venue, there isn't a bad seat in the house. Join Weldon Mills Theater for a memorable event where you can relax and make lasting memories. Get your tickets for Rodney Carrington on May 4th at WeldonMillsTheater.com. 
When you walk through the doors of Villa Verde, you'll experience the sights, sounds, and smells of authentic Dominican flavors. This is Jay from Villa Verde inviting you to come by and try one of our amazing empanadas, our famous red snappers, grouper bites, seafood paella, Cuban sandwiches, and much, much more. Relax on the patio with a fresh mojito or a cold beer while enjoying one of our out-of-this-world desserts, like our rum pineapple cake or our famous stress ledges. Villa Verde on 10th Street, a platform for good and a proud supporter of the Pirate Nation. Get inspired and freshen up your home during the Spring Savings Event at Bostic Sug Furniture. Springtime is the best time to find beautiful furniture at prices that are just your style. Plus, six months special financing. Save up to 70% off clearance items and closeouts. Plus, take an additional 10% off all American-made brands. Make bedtime the best time on a new mattress with up to 48 months special financing during the Spring Savings Event. On now at Bostic Sug Furniture. Here with Tracy Ayers from ENC Pirate Realty, and you have some exciting news about your new partnership with Allen Tate Realtors. Yes, we're very excited about our partnership with Allen Tate. Real estate is a people-centric industry. We chose to partner with Allen Tate due to its stellar reputation throughout North and South Carolina and its broader partnership with Howard Hanna. Please visit us on Fire Tower Road in Greenville or online at encpiratrealty.com. Remember, at ENC Pirate Realty Allen Tate, we close the deal or someone walks the plane. Go Pirates! The weather is beautiful and our screen door shouts welcome. Russell's Clothing is loaded with beautiful spring merchandise for men and women. The collection of dresses is amazing. You'll find dress or casual and accessories to complete any outfit. Our men's slacks and assorted sportswear can take you anywhere. Our personal service and our free signature gift wrap make shopping easy. Make Russell's in downtown Washington your shopping destination because at Russell's, it's all about you, our pirate friends and customers. The convenience of Pitt Greenville Airport is waiting just outside your front door. Service is back, so you're connected to destinations worldwide through flights from American Airlines. Plan your next trip. Book your flights today at flypgv.com or aa.com. Good news, business travelers. PGV and American Airlines has added a new early morning flight available now. Book today at aa.com and be on time for that connection in Charlotte. Fast, convenient, and close to home, PGV has American flights perfect for your next trip. PGV, where the pirates fly. Looking for physical therapy near you? Have you had orthopedic surgery, a work or sports injury, or a medical condition that has limited your day-to-day activities? At ENC Physical Therapy, we strive to provide one-on-one care with a personalized treatment plan with little to no wait times for initial evaluation. ENC Physical Therapy is located in Washington, a convenient 20-minute drive from Greenville. As a patient, you have options and the right to choose where to go. So give ENC Physical Therapy a call today at 252-495-0. 018 ENC Physical Therapy. Are you dare to walk the plank, matey? <laughs> Stop it, you're killing me. Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. We'll take you to the edge. Yes. You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Brown and Wood is your home of the best selection of GMC, Cadillac, Buick, and Mazda in eastern North Carolina since 1937. You can shop their entire inventory online at brownandwoodauto.com. Or visit them on Greenville Boulevard. Brown and Wood, Greenville's number one dealership and the home of the lifetime powertrain warranty. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here is your host, Clip Brock. All right, back with you, Pirate Radio Live. We got Chad, we got Ray in the Chad gang. Thank you all for hanging out with us on this Tuesday. Mac McCarthy here, hour number one. Charlie, can I get a little Masters so I can ask Coach Mac? Was this a good Masters that we just witnessed? Do we want to let the we want to let this play, or do we want to <laughs> talk over it? We're talking over it. <laughs> I, you know, I, I thought it was entertaining, and it uh, you know had a little bit of drama, uh, you know, at least going into the back nine on uh, Sunday, which is always good. 
of course, that's the cliche. It, the, the Masters doesn't start till the back nine on Sunday. Um, you know, Scheffler winning, I think that was a fairly popular win. But TV ratings were way down. Uh, way down. Yeah, significantly down. And that's that's not a good thing. I wonder why that is. I don't know, but I, I have a feeling that it has something to do with the ongoing whizzing contest between Liv and the PGA Tour. Hmm. I think that obviously really hurt, I think that has really hurt the PGA, and uh, somebody even suggested that it had gotten so bad it's going to be like tennis, where we're only going to pay attention to the four majors and everything else is irrelevant. Okay, it was That's a twenty percent decrease from last year. Wow, who won last year? John Rom. John Rom. So I wonder. Obviously, if Tiger Woods was in contention, it, the ratings would have been higher. Sure, but if Rom or Kepka are those names big enough, if they were in that final group or no you had you had some you know you had some good stories morikawa is a two-time like uh you know he's a he is a, a two-time majors winner uh so you you had some you had some names up there uh but i you know i thought th- i thought it was compelling i thought it was fun to watch but but you know i may be into golf a little <laughs> bit more than the average fan and uh clearly the numbers speak to the lack of interest yeah scotty scheffler is a boring dominant player he is he, very he, very boring yeah he he doesn't show a lot of emotion and um you know i know he get, has gotten a lot of praise and credit and, and rightfully so for his game but uh but yeah he's not like an inspiring personality for sure do we have um villains or animated guys playing i mean bryson dechambeau zach johnson yeah he's easy to pull against yeah and and he, and he was there like he was there at least Saturday. Saturday, yeah, he kind of blew it toward the end of Saturday, yeah, and and, yeah. and really never got going on Sunday. Uh, he's pretty easy to root against, but I, yeah, I think right now the villain thing is is separating the the live, live guys, and you know they they felt kind of unwelcomed in some ways. And uh, uh, Greg Norman, who of course is the head of the live thing, had to buy a ticket to get in. <laughs> is he? Now I, I know he blew one. Is he? Is he a past champion? I guess not. No, if he had to buy a ticket. No. Yeah, no. So, he was he had a famous meltdown was that the masters at the masters yeah. yes yes he had multiple meltdowns but but he had the huge one at the masters where he flipped it in the water on 15 and uh just kind of fell apart uh that that was kind of what he was known for uh he finally did win a major or two but uh because he was just so dead gum good but but he failed more <laughs> often than he than he succeeded and not a real popular guy uh, Coach Max, should we put all of our money on the Celtics to win the NBA championship? <laughs> I'm asking you that because Scheffler was the favorite and won relatively easy. South Carolina was the favorite one. South Carolina UConn. was the overwhelming favorite. UConn, UConn was. was the favorite. Michigan? And then you go Michigan, Patrick Mahomes, Super Michigan Bowl. Michigan wasn't the overwhelming favorite. Not overwhelming, but they were a favorite in their games. I believe. I doubt. I think they were favored by a few over Bama. I know they were favored in the championship. Nah, man, they were doubted. Throw up the fours, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I guess my point is roll. Take the favorites. Rolls. That's that. Get some of that free money. All these gambling parlors (laughs) are giving away. That's right. Are Uh, you still playing with house money? No, that's long gone. Yeah, aren't there some new ones coming on though? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, you would know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you know something I don't know, please let me know. I, I saw some that I had never heard of, but uh, that doesn't mean anything because I don't pay attention to those things. I can't wait for college basketball again next year so we can get uh, some more uh, Coach Mack picks. He does it in some college more. football, too. What oh, I can't wait about? for that's nuts in college football. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get one of these NBA playoffs or something. Coach Mack, will you watch the NBA playoffs? Will you watch uh, Charles Barkley on? Uh, I, I watched the <laughs> halftime of the post game. <laughs> yeah, and he and he just got canned on I heard, CNN. I saw that. He yeah. and Gail King they got canned, but you know what? He still gets paid. God, I really wanted to watch Charles Barkley talk about Iran and. Uh, is anybody on <laughs> TV? Is anybody on TV more than Charles Barkley? Stephen A. Smith. No, I mean he just it just feels like he's Pat on. McAfee it just sure. feels like he's on more, but between all the commercials. 
between all the commercials and the shows, I don't think anybody's on more than Charles. Capital One, man. Those really uh, run their course after the NCAA tournament. Yeah, they, they, and some of them were pretty clever, and they kept adding people. They added Nance and the, you the know, uh, actress. Yeah, from West Virginia. Jennifer Garner. Jennifer yes. Garner. Jennifer Garner. Well yeah. done, Coach Mack. That's a good question. Who is on your TVs more than Charles Barkley these days? Uh, Kevin Hart is on quite a bit he is because he's of the everywhere. gambling thing yeah. yeah peyton manning i feel like still kind of bounces around on the tv mm-hmm. some Caitlin, especially right, right caitlin after. clark has been some um she but, was on but, saturday but, night live i don't, I don't know yeah, that and that was really good yeah she was really good called out old michael shea yeah that was funny I hadn't seen it and Shirley did Very show good. me the Beavis and Butthead sketch, which was good. That was hilarious. That wasn't really funny. The only thing funny was they couldn't stop laughing. Which made it funny. Exactly. But, <laughs> but the skit itself really wasn't all that good. It's really dumb. I think it's just dumb, and I, I like the dumb. But, but Caitlin Clark on the Weekend Update was really, really good. So uh, anything about this era, Coach, that – and it's not, not era, but this run we're on of favorites winning, does it say anything, or is it just a – a blip on the radar type i, I think it's a blip i think yeah. it's, i think it's aimed at you gambling addicts <laughs> what do you mean hey, it, you, you 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 think you're seeing a trend you're gonna jump on it and you're gonna get burned big <laughs> oh okay you're right about that <laughs> but it's definitely a trend here lately um mike p says gronk with DraftKings and usaa a lot of gronk he's yeah he's he's on quite a bit but, gronk. He, but he, gronk doesn't have any shows though so he, he he loses out on that was uh was it yesterday was it at the patriots day game where he did throughout the first pitch did you see that coach i did not throughout the first pitch of the red sox game was it a strike no he spiked the ball on the mound oh my gosh and that was his first pitch gronk he's so likable isn't he <laughs> oh my god uh tyler says the rock mm, i don't see him in a lot of Dion? stuff yeah, it was. Dion's and Aflac, Aflac, and but no shows, no shows. So, so I mean, you got to have sh- you got to have shows and commercials, yeah. I think, in order to be on as much as Charles. Okay, I think Barkley's uh, got everybody beat right now. Uh, Coach, will you watch the NBA playoffs? Did I ask you that? You did ask me that, and you you went ahead and answered it by yourself. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought I was at home. With oh, you. that's right. Then I went to Charles Barkley. That's how we got there. Will you watch the <laughs> NBA playoffs? Uh, maybe the finals really okay yeah, maybe the finals i'll pay more attention to who wins and keep up with the scores but i'm not going to watch i like them only because of what we talked about a moment ago i like charles and kenny and ernie i and do them. i do actually turn it over for halftime and pregame and postgame and and of course postgame is usually hysterical and when i see that oh no it's an espn night not a tnt night yeah. sometimes i won't watch just because of that i am the same way yeah. i am uh, the same Bl- way blake says the guy that i was just thinking of Shaq. Who, who Shaq was just, is, that would who be was good. just here last Friday across yeah. the street. Shaq would be close, all, and and he is sometimes on the shows. Have you met Shaq? No, I've not met Shaq. I have been to the TNT shows. I, I have been there when Magic was there when I was there. Uh, Weber was there when I was there, but I've never been with Shaq. Magic, you gonna be there? <laughs> I ain't going to be there. <laughs> Sorry, Coach. I like when he does his Magic Johnson impression. <laughs> Who is your best impersonation? I'm, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Who is your best? Probably Gary Hahn. NC State. Can you do the countdown? I think Farnold DeGan missed the last shot in Minji's in that game ECU won. Can you do the Gary Hahn call from Max win over State? And if the clock runs down, five, four, three, two, one, and the pack has lost to Mac McCarthy and the Pirates here in Menges. Boy, anticlimactic as it would be. That's a good call there, Gary. And amongst all the <laughs> – That's how he would do it. Probably not, but – He's done now, right? He doesn't he's do done. baseball, right? I don't know. Did State win again and they advanced to another <laughs> round? Like no. they, they kept him around as long as they could. Uh, but no, Gary Hahn is that's done. A, that is a uh, that's a, a really prime job. That's going to be really <clears throat> interesting to see who gets that. And a lot of pressure on him, too, replacing a, a longtime legend. Yeah, and man, just I, I like Jones Angel. I uh, had him on the show a few times, but... Are you kidding me? Of course, he's never going to be Woody Durham. Nobody is. And then... 
I don't like flipping around and hearing the Bob Harris replacement that Duke has, just me personally. I'm sure he's a fine gentleman. But, like, replacing those guys is absolutely impossible. Tough. It really is tough, especially if you've grown up listening to the ones that, that have been there a while. And if they've been there a while, that's, that encompasses a lot of different uh, generations. And it takes away from fandom a little bit. Like, even, I don't know, I'm still a huge Braves fan, but when Skip Carey and Pete Van Weeren passed away, it, like, took a little something from me. The I still I, the the group that I went to college with, they all still sync the radio to the television broadcast. Uh, I wonder if this generation will do the same, because you've got every every single every single event at ECU is streamed, right? So Pretty you much, really yeah. wouldn't have to listen to radio for anything. I beg my parents. well, they're separate. I'm talking. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about just from the oh, from just, the game perspective. Gotcha. Yeah. I begged my parents to give me a uh, to get me a pocket radio. We were going to games, and I begged them to you know give me a pocket radio so I could listen to Jeff Charles yeah. while I was in the stands. You're, you got an old soul, old soul. I like it. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. But I don't know. I don't know if everybody in your age group it, it feels the same way. No. Nah. Chad says your Mike Keith is pretty good. The voice of the Tennessee Titans coach. You familiar with him? And I am. Afraid of the program. We had him on the show very randomly, <laughs> but it was awesome to have. It. So what? How did we get him on the show? Did you just like DM him I or something? D- I DM'd him on uh, on Instagram. I followed him. He followed me back, and I was like, "Hey, he followed me back. I, was, I might as well just message him and see something was going on at that time." Um, a former pirate had, was coaching in the their preseason line, game. The defensive yeah. line coach was given the head coaching duties from Mike Rabel. Yeah. yeah, the other show I do on the radio station in Chattanooga, they have they carry the Titans, so he's on there all the time. Okay, yeah, what a guy! He was just talking to two knuckleheads from Greenville, North Carolina. I mean, it was so cool, so much fun. Um, Austin says Samuel L. Jackson is on his TV a lot. He sure is, yeah. Again, no shows, but yeah, he is. He is a presence. I saw another good tweet that I saw that I won't claim any credit for, so in case it offends someone. Somebody was. Did I talk about uh, Marcus uh, uh, Morgan Freeman? Everybody said they wanted him to kind of narrate their life. Right. Somebody said. I need Samuel L. Jackson because there's going to be some bad language. Some cuss words. Yeah. <laughs> he can. He is like. Is he the most famous cusser? Oh, of for our sure. lifetimes. Like, Lifetime. A- anytime anybody says Samuel L. Jackson, they always throw out the MF or. I think he's the most famous yeah. swearer. Another Chattanooga native. Hmm. You had him on the radio? They had him no, on? I wish. <laughs> he's not allowed on regular radio. <laughs> I wish. Let's get another break in. We'll come back more with Coach Mack. Uh, we'll run down what's going on. Uh, with the NBA playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs. It is also Ticket Tuesday. Brought to you by Toby Williams and Sailor Warehouse. Today, we're giving away a pair of tickets to see the Pirates and Shockers of Wichita State this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can be a big winner. Ticket Tuesday. We'll give those away in hour number three. We got more to go. Pirate Radio Live after this. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time, it's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownandwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. If you're in the market for a swimming pool and you're located from the capital to the coast, Elite Pools can make it happen for you. They are the Carolina's premier fiberglass and concrete pool builder and renovation contractor. Every pool is built with the highest quality products and on schedule. Visit the Elite Pool showroom located across from Agri Supply in Greenville with fiberglass pools on site and a design center to simplify all of your pool selections. They also have a full service department with pool supplies and they provide expert water analysis. Call Elite Pools today at 689 
557 or visit ElitePoolsNC.com. For pools, think Elite Pools. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. Stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work, down on Main Street is the perfect spot for dinner and a drink on the patio. Join down on Main Street every Wednesday for half price wings from four to close. Down on Main Street on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Go Pirates! Spring is a great time to plant flowers, trees, and bushes. When planning your landscape, please keep in mind that you should never plant anything within three feet of a gas, electric, or water meter. The same thing applies if you have an electric transformer in your yard, except keep plants eight feet clear of the front in case crews need access during a storm or an outage. Always remember to call 811 at least three business days before you dig to avoid underground lines. This important safety message is from your neighbors at Greenville Utilities. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This is Brandon Tate, owner and operator of Atlantic Wireless, an authorized agent for U.S. Cellular since 19. 19- Visit AtlanticWireless.com to find the store near you. We go beyond the call. North Carolina State Parks invites you to enjoy camping your way. With the weather changing, booking your own cabin is the perfect solution for your camping getaway. Reserve campsites or cabins today at Jones Lake, Goose Creek, and Cliffs of the Noose. Whether you enjoy traditional camping or air-conditioned cabins that can be rented with Wi-Fi, your next adventure can include hiking, beautiful scenery, and sunsets by the camp. Fire. For information on booking a cabin, visit ncparks.gov. What's even better than going to Jimmy John's? The great taste of Jimmy John's coming to you. Check out their convenient catering bundle, including a 12-pack of half sandwiches made with fresh-baked bread, hand-sliced meats, and fresh veggies, plus two premium sides, 15 chips, and 15 desserts, all for one great price. You can also choose an a la carte option. Pick it up, or they'll set it up for you. And don't forget Jimmy John's loyalty app with a free sandwich after your first visit. Visit Jimmy John's in Greenville and Wilson and online at jimmyjohns.com. There's a common misbelief today that to make it further, you need to push yourself, that you need to give up any joy to continue your rigid routine. Or you could try another way. Take some time to enjoy life, like having a Michelob Ultra with friends, because happiness is essential to living an exceptional life. Michelob Ultra, a refreshing and balanced flavor with only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Michelob Ultra, proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. This is John David Baker, offense coordinator for the ECU Pirates, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. Hey, this is how we do it. Let's go, let's go. This is how we do it. la 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 This is how we do it. la la You're listening to Hour One of Pirate Radio Live. This hour is brought to you by Pirate Water. Get ready to party, pirates. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find your new treasure. 21 and older only. Pirate Water. Why be yourself when you can be a pirate? Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Are you in outside sales and looking for an opportunity to increase your earning potential? Copy Pro has been in Eastern North Carolina for over 45 years and continues to grow each year, and they are in need of more sales professionals with a desire to potentially make a six-figure income. Do you have what it takes? Visit copypro.net today to submit your resume and to learn more. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here is your host, Clip Rock. All right, wrapping up the hour with Coach Mack. we got a lot of guests coming up, including Amy Gardner, head softball coach at Pitt Community College, and some of her Bulldogs players are going to talk about one of their players who was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma and how you can help out they got some fundraisers going on and uh, we'll talk about their softball season a former Pitt community college baseball player shea ward who is now on the club team for ecu <coughs> will join us as well and uh top ranked in the country knocked off state over the weekend we'll talk about that the mully man will join us to talk some baseball bryce williams cj struck brandon manning in hour three and we got a bunch of interns i need to figure out what to do with the interns while they're here they're they're just kind of on standby waiting for something to do we got to give them something to do at some point. All right, uh, Coach Mack, coming up tonight, will you be watching this, Chon? 
good news it is on tnt so if you want to flip over there lakers and pelicans this is the play-in tournament i've seen my fair share so the lakers pelicans winner will be the seven seed the loser of that game will play the winner of warriors kings whoever loses warriors kings tonight is dunzo the winner of that game will play the loser of lakers pelicans and the winner of that game will be the eight seed this is all stupid but <laughs> well, <very> much so. <laughs> so it's not really a playing game because you can lose and still advance in the first one yes <laughs> <laughs> like and in this the is second why i'm one, not gonna watch the nba playoffs and in the second any- one if you win it you're still not in the playoffs you got to win another one yeah. so it's a play into a play in so you say that that, that does, the first one's a I, play out game yeah play out okay and i want to go back and play in for the play in i want to go back to your question about whether i'll watch the nba playoffs <laughs> no. no is the answer until the finals until i will finals. say though kudos to the nba for doing this because tonight on play in night you get lebron james anthony davis the lakers you get zion and the pelicans and you get steph curry and the warriors and so, you're telling me this is not a playoff game I mean, it feels like, and the Kings weren't they like one of the top teams last year? Oh yeah, in the West. Is this like the first? Are they playing this in Dayton? <laughs> These will be on home courts. Uh, one in New Orleans, one in Sac Town. Can the Kings like the beam? That's what they do. I know. That's what they say. It, it sounds like you know what you're talking about when you say stuff like that. Yeah. You got any picks uh, in these games? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we'll move on. Coach Mack, will you jump on the Canes bandwagon coming up? No. You're not into that at all? I, any, I'm into that. Any hockey at all? I love some playoff hockey. No. Just does not float the proverbial boat. Doesn't do it for me. You know, I, I, you know, I appreciate the fact that there are a lot of Canes fans and uh, they, they seem to have captured the state. It's the one thing that everybody kind of agrees on in North Carolina. They seem to be Canes fans for the most part. But uh, but no, I, it was, they could be playing in my backyard. I wouldn't look out the kitchen window. <laughs> I saw the um, Dawsonville pool hall. The siren. The, they, play, they sounded the siren because <laughs> Chase Elliott <coughs> was a winner. They had to dust that damn thing off. <laughs> oh, he was uh, it had been inactive for uh, a couple years. So he wins in the awesome Hooters car that yeah. he was driving around, which Coach Mack first said time? has not won in a long time. 1992 was the last time that paint scheme was in victory lane that is crazy alan cole wiki and i know coach mack will be tuned in on sunday because this is one you want to watch right talladega 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 it uh there is nothing like the experience at talladega some things really good some things really bad my first race was there so uh i have a a a good place in my heart for that race how old were you when you went to your first race uh let's see so we went to 25 26 27 26 or 27 and uh and we're, did you say that you weren't really super into it until no it wasn't at race? all yeah. wasn't at all had no interest in it whatsoever yeah. till i went to that race and then since then i have been absolutely hooked i've worked in the pits i've done the driving school i've done everything Oh wow! So you've been you've driven around a track. I have not at Talladega, Charlotte, Bristol, Bristol. Who'd you work in the pits with? Uh, actually, it was um, I'm trying to think whether Mike Dillon drove the car. It was the number 59 Kingsford Charcoal in the Xfinity Series, which was the Bush Series at that point in time. And I can't remember whether Phil Parsons drove it or owned it, but one of them owned it and one of them drove it. I don't know which was which. When you say Dillon, you're not talking about Austin Dillon, are you? No, Probably Austin Dillon's Dillon. daddy. Yeah, Mike Dillon. I figured. Uh, let me see if I can get some odds on this because really it it, it doesn't matter, right? Like you just kind of throw a dart at a board when you pick a Talladega winner or is there any skill to picking a winner? Oh, there, there, there are some people that race better there than others, yeah. There, there's, a, there's some skill, but of course you could have the very best car and the very best driver and not win the thing because you get caught up in somebody else's mess. It tells you though how of a, much of a crapshoot it is because you can get who are the best drivers william byron ryan blaney they're up there right yeah elliot hamlin Hamlin would be up there they're all plus 1000 plus 1100 yeah so it's not like that for a no not a regular race race, no exactly so uh should be a fun one 
anybody not one there that is looking for their first that could win this week they come to mind hmm i don't know i'm not sure about that the guy that has terrible luck there is kyle bush but uh you know we can hope that that continues <laughs> still rooting against him huh? absolutely even though he's irrelevant i'm still rooting against him you going to any more races this year uh we'll go to the martinsville fall race maybe the richmond fall race Will that be football season? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But they're on Sunday, so we're good. I like that time of year when you've got like a uh, a Sunday. Martinsville night is, race. The, is the race before they go to the championship, so that's the cutoff for the final four. Okay. Which will be significant. Yes, sir. Indeed. All right. Good stuff. Anything else you're following in the sports world? Transfer portal. Uh, Transfer portal is is pretty big, and then are we uh, done with the coaching carousel? By the way, we're we're almost done because it looks like uh, Brigham Young has, is is going to hire an assistant from okay. uh, one of the, one of the NBA teams, I think. So that closes that window, unless yeah. something else happens. Yeah, there'll be a little bit of assistant uh, window here, but uh, but nobody will pay attention to that. Uh, how good will Arkansas be year one of Calipari? Really good, better than Kentucky. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I have any more questions. I mean, how many of those players coming in is coming from Kentucky? They'll take several off the roster that are there now, although because Pope is there, a couple will stay, like Reed Shepard, uh, whose dad played with with, uh, with Pope. Uh, but uh, almost the entire freshman class that was committed to Cal will go with him to Arkansas. It was a funny soundbite last week when he said, I talked to the team. There is, there no, is team. no team. There is no team. You know how many coaches could say that right now? Yeah. The last mock draft I saw for the NBA, Chandler, had the Hornets getting Reed Shepard. All right. Would that be a good pick, Coach? Be a good pick. He's not coming out, but that's fine. Oh, he's not? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. You may have just said this. Is he staying? Yeah, I think he'll stay. At Kentucky? Yeah. Okay. I think he'll stay. And be one of their guys? One of their go-to guys? His dad played with Yeah, I remember that. I remember that team. Jeff Shepard, yep. They were a... um, So that was... Was that like Ron Mercer and Walter McCarty? I believe that era of Celtics. right there. I remember Rick Pitino saying Walter McCarty. <laughs> because then he got him on the Celtics, all those old Kentucky guys. How about Petito with his video endorsing Pope and saying if he, if he doesn't have enough NIL, I'll do it for him. Mock Pope. Holy cow. What does that mean? He's going to start sending guys there? He, no, he said he would supply the money if he needed it. That, <laughs> that's some Rick Pitino stuff that's right there. That's ridiculous, yeah. I got plenty of money. <laughs> Rick Pitino. I got all the money in the world. <laughs> Uh, Coach Mack, enjoyed it, man. Thank you, guys. Well, uh, I look forward to the uh, Maxters and uh, and the spelling <laughs> great bee name, and all this stuff. Hello, friends. <laughs> yeah. And everybody watch the uh, three-point shooting contest. Maybe spelling bee next Tuesday. We'll do it throughout the show. So we can do a little bit while Max here and then on into hour yeah, two. Do we have a defending champion for the spelling bee? This will be the first time. Do we have a favorite? I'm saying no, Zach. No, we've had a spelling bee before. Have we? It was an impromptu spelling bee because it was they had to write something out and it was I think Alex mis- misspelled it, but I don't think we like labeled it as a spelling bee. I forget half the things we do here. Because didn't we do like a geography one or something and that y'all had to write something out and that's when we discovered that Alex was the worst speller in the history. And, yeah. and then we have the worst. And then we have the worst at math also. Who is the worst at math? Oh, Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> Have we tested Sorry. any of? Uh, I didn't mean to throw Delaney under the bus back here, but. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm a communications major. I don't need to do math. <laughs> fair enough. That oh. is very fair. And I don't know if we know any of Brett's skills we yet. We haven't challenged Brett yet. He's really what good at broadcasting. Any, anything you're bad He's at? He's really good at uh, broadcasting. Can you spell? Can you add? I'm good at making bodies disappear. <laughs> Mets, I am uh, Mets I'm a trivia. pretty good student. I can spell pretty well. Math, I haven't taken a math, math. class since high school. So yeah. That'll be a little challenging for me. I just want to know if he's got I just want to know if he's got his cocky. <laughs> <laughs> They're over in the yard. Let's uh, let's take a break. We've got a lot of softball players here. Hello, softball team from Pitt Community College. Full studio. Uh, we will talk to Coach Amy Gardner and some of her players about fundraisers going on to help one of their players and they're having a solid season so we'll talk about that as well when we return pirate radio live on a tuesday back with you after this
Pirate Fest, presented by Optimum, offers a full day of piratical tomfoolery for all ages. This free event includes over 125 vendors, food trucks, art demos, inflatables, and of course, pirates. Join us on Saturday, April 20th, from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for live pirate reenactments, great food, and so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. It's going to be awesome. Come experience Greenville's newest theater, Golden Ticket Cinemas, located on Greenville Boulevard near Cracker Barrel. With stadium seating and reserved luxury recliners, you can enjoy the movie along with great concessions such as El House Sliders, delicious wings, pizza, and hot dogs. And they even have milkshakes. You can always find great deals at Golden Ticket Cinemas such as 550 Ticket Tuesdays and free family movies at 11 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show in style with luxurious amenities and top-notch service at Golden and ticket cinemas. This is Aaron Williams with New Blue Service Group. Our technicians stand ready to face any challenge that time or the elements may throw at your home. Your home deserves the best, and New Blue is here to help with all of your plumbing, electrical, and HVAC needs. Facing electrical issues due to the elements, we're on it. Plumbing concerns or emergencies, we're ready to fix it. HVAC struggling to keep up, we'll bring the climate back under control. So go to call nublue.com today. Go Pirates. We all have seniors in our life who may need a little extra help with technology. University PC Care's Quick Helps are affordable, in-store, short appointments designed for seniors who may need a little TLC to help with setting up a new computer, help with email or passwords, or help with the latest online scam. They don't need to fear technology anymore. Call 252-558-1280 to schedule an in-store Quick Helps appointment for Greenville or New Bern. Learn more at University PC Care com. Hello, Eastern North Carolina. Pitt County Schools is in the opportunity business. We open doors for every student by finding pathways to provide the best possible chance of success for each to reach their career aspirations of choice. As we head through the spring months, we will continue to guide our students for the different journeys of life preparedness before celebrating their accomplishments. We are committed to enhancing academic achievement and developing personal growth through work-based learning of our many career and technical education programs college readiness, and saluting those who will be serving our country in the armed forces, engaging, empowering, and elevating students to be successful citizens, workers, and leaders in a global economy remains our mission. Please visit our website today at pittschools.org. That's pittschools.org to learn how we grow minds and invest in our future through 38 schools and one community. Education is truly the key that unlocks doors of opportunity. Saturdays are your day to kick back, relax, and have fun. That's why Atavola Market Cafe is the perfect place to go for dinner, drinks, and takeout. Atavola is open every Saturday at 4 p.m. on the bar side, serving a special selection of menu favorites of appetizers, pastas, and specialty pizzas. Whether it's dine-in, takeout, or drinks with friends, Atavola is the best choice every Saturday starting at 4 o'clock. Visit AtavolaMarket.com to see what's new, and visit Atavola on Red Banks Road every Saturday starting at 4. Atavola, Pirates support. Supporting Pirates. UBE and PirateWare.com are proud to offer the Pirate Nation its largest inventory of ECU merchandise and tailgate supplies ever. UBE has the best prices in town, so that makes UBE your one-stop shop for all things ECU. UBE does daily restocks of Champion, Adidas, and Under Armour. Don't forget to bring your young pirates to plunder the Crow's Nest, which is the only kid's store dedicated to ECU. Plenty of free parking in Uptown Greenville. Visit them online at PirateWare.com. Go Pirates! This This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local. Print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at universitysportswearenc.com. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Have you heard? Greenville Auto World is under new ownership and is now part of the DriveHereNow.com network. DriveHereNow.com is run by local people who buy, service, detail, and sell everything directly to you. 
Greenville Auto World is now the fifth dealership to join DriveHereNow.com. Get car shopping today at DriveHereNow.com and choose a location near you. DriveHereNow.com, serving Eastern North Carolina for over 47 years and a proud supporter of the Pirates. Now let's head back in to a very crowded room. Here's Clip Brock. All right, I am surrounded by Bulldogs. Uh, Pitt Community College softball team here inside the Pirate Radio studios to uh, talk about their great season and some important things they have going on and uh coach amy gardner welcome in and great to have you and the girls here thank you for having us absolutely so let's uh let's talk about first of all the the important stuff and and uh the things bigger than sports uh one of your players diagnosed with hodgkin's lymphoma that is jordan corbett who is here with us and uh the team the girls uh and everybody wants to to help her out obviously and you guys are, are going a long way to do that with fundraisers right yes we are and and what are those fundraisers you have going on we've got a t-shirt fundraiser and a bracelet fundraiser um we're also having a strikeout cancer day tomorrow at one of our games just to promote awareness not only are we asking for funds but we're also asking for prayers for jordan and her family and for all of us and for everyone and everyone suffering from cancer yeah and jordan uh, can we talk to you and, and how i guess how how's everything going for you right now it's going good <laughs> that is good to hear um how cool is it to have your your teammates your your sisters probably uh that they all have your back here um it means a lot to me knowing that, that i can just turn to anybody or to them what part uh of this battle are you in right now what what's kind of next for you um i have to get rid of this pneumonia and this infection first before i can start treatments gotcha and uh you talked about the fundraisers going on t-shirt and bracelets um we've got a couple players here what are your names michaela michaela madison 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 you're talking t-shirts yes sir tell us about the t-shirts um me and michaela have known jordan for a long time we play travel ball with each other since about 12 years 10 years and me and my mom sat down one day and we're after she got diagnosed for the second time of the cancer in her lungs we decided to put together a t-shirt from what razor where we would sell t-shirts at the front of it would be the pcc bulldogs logo and on the back it will be seven strong or hashtag jordan strong which that is the stickers that are on our helmets currently awesome. and so you can order those on the link at the pcc website there's a form that you can fill out and it'll have all the information of actually my mom's information if you need anything you can just contact her and it's 24 small through xl and then 25 uh double xl up so the best what's the best way to find this link where would you go um you'll go to the pcc athletics okay. page or you can go to the pcc um softball page and you'll find that link um half of the proceeds to the t-shirts of course we have to make them but the other half proceeds will go to jordan and her family through the time that they're going through right now all right and also uh bracelets as well yes um we're doing a fundraiser through the school um of selling these bracelets um for jordan and they are five dollars a piece and if you would like to get one you can um ask any of the players or coach gardner as well or our athletic director as well but they're five dollars a piece and all the proceeds um will be going to jordan's family as well that is awesome and uh it's great that you are helping uh helping out your teammate and coach uh, from what i understand you're having a great year as well so far right we are we are currently in third place right now and uh when's your next game tomorrow big day here we're looking for the suite it, yes sir all right uh people can come out and watch you guys the girls play absolutely we're celebrating our strikeout cancer tomorrow so we'll have uh, special uniforms um game time is at three o'clock um we also are going to have some signs people can hold representing anybody that they know this battled cancer um and we're just looking to have a good time and uh jordan is uh, man is your goal to get back on the the softball diamond one day yes it is i can answer that for you <laughs> we want her back immediately what position do you play outfield outfield all right good deal and uh man that would be great but uh the community can get involved in this with the purchase of a t-shirt a bracelet uh anything else we need well, to know about they can just take donations also sure. you can do it on the same website you do for the t-shirts okay um and we, again we just ask for everybody's prayers and for anybody and everybody going through this jordan's been a trooper through this um she rarely misses practice even when she was going through her chemo treatments in wow. the fall uh rarely missed practice most of the time i had to force her not to be there 
there. <laughs> um, she actually showed up at practice today. Um, of course, she can't practice, but she's there for a team. She's a team player. So now we're playing for something bigger than ourselves. Um, mm-hmm. And that's that's what's great about sports yeah. is when you make it about something else, something bigger than you. Absolutely. How motivating is that for you girls to, to see that? Oh, absolutely. It's so made of motivating to see the strength that she has going through this. And I feel like um, it gives – us more strength um to see how strong jordan is and uh it's just amazing to see her go through it fantastic uh anybody else want to talk man y'all are very well behaved (laughs) very quiet i threatened him well (laughs) (laughs) i could see that yeah don't want to get on coach's bad side that's for sure all right um shirley rhodes softball shirley you got any questions for uh the softball team while they're they're here Amy, you know Shirley pretty well, I understand. I know Shirley really How about this? You got any good Shirley stories for our audience? I've got great Shirley <laughs> stories, but I don't know if I can say that. That's what there. people want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does have uh, quite a few uh, uh, Shirley stories. Um, <laughs> Notice she just got quiet. Very. I've never heard Shirley this quiet. <laughs> Well, because I'm afraid of Amy. <laughs> Are y'all she afraid will, of she Amy? She will kick my tail. Not, no. really. <laughs> Not really. Not at all. That's well, funny. let's talk about some burpees. <laughs> yeah, if you if if you've known Amy as long as I have, trust me. You know, I I uh, we we played softball together in high school. Uh, we went to college together. We didn't play softball together in college, though. She she played softball. I I went in a different direction. Um, and uh, so we've known each other for a very long time. But uh, yeah, so there's a lot of stories out there. But I I told her I was like, be careful. I might throw you under the bus. And you don't want me she to may do have that. A few on me, but not many. Yeah, no, she definitely has more on me than I do on her. <laughs> good stuff uh thank y'all for coming in one more time uh if people want to you can donate and you can get something from your donation with the shirt and bracelet let's go uh through that one more time so how can folks get the t-shirts um you can uh, purchase a t-shirt by going to the pcc athletics website on facebook or the website or you can go to the facebook page on pcc softball and there is a link where you can purchase your um t-shirt it'll also show you where you could pay and where you would like to pick it up or if you want someone to bring it to you all right then uh bracelets as well yeah you can um reach out to one of us uh, girls or coach gardner or our athletic director dawn and just let us know how many you would like and we would get them to you all right hashtag jordan strong and hashtag be a doll like that. Uh, well, Jordan, we wish you the best of luck and uh, can't wait to, to get you back on the field. Uh, thank you. Yep, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Coach Gardner, thank you. Thank you. You got a great group of girls here. Yeah, they clean up well, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back, have more for you. We'll talk uh, some baseball, some golf, and everything in beto- between with Mike Mullis. He'll join us on Pirate Radio Live on a Tuesday. Back with you after this. Basic's mind is also known as a poster Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his bro No Do you want to get rid of wrinkles? Tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots, get rid of unwanted hair and under eye fat pads. Are you interested in Botox or filler? Contact the licensed professionals at Beauty Bar Medi Spa for a free consultation and ask about our newest technologies and treatments. Learn more at BeautyBarMediSpa.com. Red Banks Road, Greenville. Enjoy your visit, love your transformation, and go Pirates! Country Mart has been locally owned and operated for over 40 years and is your premier country store serving the best cheese biscuits and country food around. Country Mart is open every day and has two locations in Bethel on Highway 11 and in Stokes on Highway 903. Both Country Mart locations are top of the line fuel stations serving shell gas including 93 ethanol free high octane gas which is the best for all you boat owners. Country Mart fueling you up with great food in your engines with great gasoline. Go Pirates! Home runs and high fives always go better with a Bud Light. Bud Light is America's favorite light beer and the official beer of the ECU Pirates. Whether you're headed to the ballpark, the jungle, or the couch, be sure to pick up and order some Bud Light and enjoy the ball game. Bud Light is always easy to drink and easy to enjoy. And remember, Pirate Nation, stay in the game and please drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Go Pirates! 
This is your What's New update brought to you by Green Auto World. What's new? Green Auto World has new owners and is part of the DriveHereNow.com team of dealerships. New owner Tommy Cook and his team have four dealerships with a fully stocked inventory, over 200 SUVs, trucks, cars, and over 50 lenders and has financing for anybody. Get shopping today at DriveHereNow.com. Green Auto World, Highway 43 at Bells Fork, across from Speedway, Pirates supporting Pirates. Hey, Pirate Nation, be sure to have the best and comfortable shoes with a stop at Fleet Feet. This is ECU alum Chris Lunyon, owner of Fleet Feet of Greenville, and we provide solutions through one-on-one service to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Fleet Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Come visit us at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Fleet Feet, we run for you. Do you ever talk to yourself about where to eat today, and then you hear, Warren's Hot Dogs. Then you're thinking, yeah, two hot dogs, chips, and a drink for only six twenty-five would be awesome. Warren's Hot Dogs. And maybe some homemade lemonade, perhaps a pizza or a sub, and definitely an apple or peach turnover. Warren's Hot Dogs. Don't overthink where to eat today. Go to Warren's Hot Dogs in Greenville across from Ron Ayers or in Chacoanity next to the fire station. Warren's Hot Dogs, serving the Pirate Nation since 1991. Go Pirate. Be sure to check out David Price Construction for all of your commercial or custom residential renovation and building needs. Run by ECU alumni, David Price Construction specializes in commercial projects, maintenance on facilities, and large-scale residential renovations and additions. Proud to be voted the Remodeler of the Year by the Home Builders Association of Raleigh Wake County in 2018 and Best Business Commercial Remodel Project winner for 2020. David Price Construction, the proud ECU Home Services partner. Wings Over has always been a great go-to for dinner or a late night snack, and it still is. But did you know you don't have to wait for dinner to get Wings Over? That's right. Wings Over Greenville is now open for lunch seven days a week. Get Wings Over for lunch and have it delivered right to the office. Wings Over also caters so everyone at work can enjoy. Wings Over Greenville has over 20 flavors to choose from, including the limited edition Cajun garlic flavor. Order today by going online at wingsover.com or by calling 758-9464. Wings Over. They deliver. Pirate Radio, where it's always a great day to be a pirate. I think it's gonna be a great day. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local. Print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at universitysportswearenc.com. Now, back to the show. And welcome back. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? We'll keep it local and print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at universitysportswearenc.com, the official sportswear provider of Pirate Radio. And Bud Light reminds Pirate fans to always stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. And as we head back into the show clip, I've got a little bit of breaking news for you. Let me put my headphones on for just a second. All right, so I can hear myself. This was um, surprising but very pleasant news. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, ahead of tonight's contest, the Atlanta Braves have promoted Rome Emperor's outfielder Bryson World to Triple A Gwinnett. Wow. Which is a huge jump. Wow. So uh, congratulations He's to Bryson. Right there. He's now, right there. Yeah, I wonder if it's just like they needed an outfielder or and if he's... That is a very good possibility because they yeah. do move them up and down whenever somebody gets called up in AAA. Somebody, you know, it kind of moves up and down the chain. But he had been playing. He began the season with the Rome Emperors, which if you uh, remember, they used to be called the Rome Braves and they changed their name. So, um, but yeah, uh, this came out just a few minutes ago, about five minutes ago. Uh, they have uh, called him up and told him to go to Gwinnett. Oh, no. Michael Harris has a hamstring injury. Out day to day. They need an outfielder. <laughs> Price and World's their guy. Yeah. Go ahead. You're batting between Acuna and Alves. Uh, <laughs> go for it. Uh, congratulations to Bryce. That's awesome. Go that to, is awesome. I mean, we've got a lot thing. of... Uh, 
Uh, former ECU players doing very well in the minor leagues right now and off to really good starts. So uh, looking forward to kind of keeping up with uh, with all of those guys in the minors. Charlie, can uh, you grab Mully on the phone? Yes. Yes. Oh, I'll do that you. right now. Uh, thanks to the Pitt Community College softball team for joining us a moment ago. And if you can help out with the fundraisers and uh, funding uh, they have going on right now for one of their players, Jordan Corbett, uh, please do so. But uh, it was great. They're a very well-behaved team. Coach Gardner's got them under her thumb. <laughs> no, yeah. no fooling around like with Coach mili- Gardner. like a military player. Even Shirley was scared when yeah. uh, Coach Gardner was here. Uh, seemed nice to me. I don't know if I like it. But uh, uh, go ahead and uh, support them if you can. They have a home game coming up on Wednesday against Brunswick as they go uh, for the sweep in that series. Also, uh, Buccaneer Music Hall scoreboard update presented by the Buck. The Buck. Tigers winners today already, 4-2. to two. That score got some O's baseball for you tonight. O's and Twins play at 635. Well, I have that for you on Pirate Radio. And the play-in tournament begins tonight. And uh, a lot of stars in that tournament. LeBron, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers taking on the Pelicans. And Steph and the Warriors battling the Kings tonight. So some NBA play-in tournament action going on on this Tuesday. I see four thumbs. And uh, that means the Mully Man joins us on the Pirate Radio Live Line. Mully, how you doing, man? Good, man. I'm so excited for NBA play-in basketball. I can barely contain it. I'm glad you're excited. Um, Molly, I know, I remember when the Braves lost a playoff game to the Dodgers and I said series over, you never recover for something like that. It happened on like a late home run and they blew a lead. So, well, I know, I, I kind of know where you're going to take this, but will ECU ever recover from giving up that grand slam on Sunday? Uh, <laughs> I mean, they've been playing great baseball, uh, kind of a blip on the radar there. It stunk, but you think this team will be able to bounce back tonight and this week? Oh, yeah, yeah, they'll be fine. And, look, you're you're talking about it, and this, this goes overlooked a lot. UNC Charlotte have been swept all year. And and that that's only critical because I said something about their makeup and who they are and that they're not – I mean, they just never say die. Uh, but a great week – you know, the Pirates came off a great week, and that guy just – I mean, you know, he, he barely got it out of the park, but nonetheless it was a grand slam, and it is what it is. But I don't think uh, – I don't think that derails the Pirates. I mean, I don't think we're going to look back on this. So now what does concern me a little bit with only, I think it's three uh, three weekend series left, three conference series left, is that one that one game could be interesting now that uh, UTSA has the one game leading. Yeah. But they are heading into the, you know, kind of the meat of the conference. So that that would be the bigger concern to me. I mean, I think that could, that could be interesting to watch, but. Uh, as far as does this, you know, do the Pirates go 500 the rest of the way because of that grand slam? I can tell you if they were to do that, and I, and I don't in any stretch of the imagination think they will, I can promise you that there will be a lot of disappointment in the mental fortitude of those guys and what we've seen all year is, is a team that fights. And, uh, no, I expect, you know, I expect them to bounce back strong tonight at, uh, at William and Mary. Molly, uh, again, you, you said at the time you, you were nervous about the Roadrunners having that series win over ecu and and we're still chasing them they're still uh, looking in the rear view to the pirates east carolina top 10 in the polls top 10 rpi all that so why in your opinion is it important for us to catch and surpass utsa if east carolina already has those accolades already uh, your reason is it doesn't look good to not finish first in the league is that kind of where you're coming from yeah, I think when it comes down to possibly being a top eight, uh, you know, that that's going to be, you know, with, with the parity that is in college baseball, I, I think when the resume is laid out and, you know, the, if it comes down to two teams there kind of in that, you know, final spot, you go, okay, this team played in the, you know, I don't know, the SEC and finished second or whatever in their side and, and then this team, and that's like the number one or two conference in the country. And then you've got East Carolina, and if we were to stumble into the two spot, now you go, well, you know, this club didn't win their conference, and it's like the sixth or seventh conference in the country. So, I, I mean, I just think it's a, it's a, it's more a matter clip of control, uh, being able to control it from the Pirates' side. Like, if you're in charge of the league, if you're leading the league, 
then that's something that can be eliminated from the argument. And I think that's the bigger deal. It's bigger to, to it's bigger as an eliminated bullet point than it is to be the conference champions, if that makes any sense. Molly, uh, solid week of baseball for the Pirates last week at four and one. Um, the the blemish was the Grand Slam, and another thing, uh, I guess, a little bit on the concerning side. No Jacob Starling uh, from your time out at the ballpark this weekend. You, you picked up on any idea of when we might see Jacob Starling back in the lineup? You know, he's been moving around more, and uh, you know, kind of looks like he's getting close. But I'm, it, it look, it is a concern clip, but I, I, I see it as a positive. And why I say that is now all of a sudden Colby Wallace knows that he can perform offensively at this level. Uh, you know, he, he's had some at-bats, but not really with any consistency uh, up until, you know, Starling's injury and Dixon Williams going over to, to second. So you, you've got Colby Wallace now becomes a legitimate, you know, part of the offense or at least a guy that has the confidence as a bat off the bench. It also gives you, you know, in Kobe Wallace, another right-handed hitting option. So, I mean, I think there's some good things there. I, I don't, I mean, clearly, and, and Cliff talks about it a lot w- with the leadership that Starling brings. Uh, it's a big deal, and, and they'll they will welcome him back with open arms. And I don't think there's any kind of, uh, you know, controversy as to who the second baseman will be. Uh, but I think largely, man, you're getting some playing time, and the guy's getting to really prove himself more to himself than the staff. The staff knew what they had in Kobe Wallace, but now he's convinced himself that he could do this, and that could be a, a, a situation that pays huge dividends down the line. Jamie says, will it mess up the team flow once Starman comes back as they're playing well right now? So, I don't know. If they reel off a few more wins without Starling, do you keep him out of the lineup when he's healthy, or do you put him right back in there? Well, that's a decision Cliff Godwin has to make, but, to make, but what do you, do you think about that? Yeah, no, I think he goes right back in there. They're six and two without him, uh, so you know, I, I, I don't. If they were, if we had a bigger body of work, and they were, you know, if they were right. twelve and four, and Kobe Wallace all of a sudden has you know three or four home runs, and you know, th- then then you start to go, hmm, this is interesting. I, I tell you, and I, this is no insider. This is just me, like thinking outside the box as a fan. I wonder if we could see the situation where you have some combination of of Wallace, uh, Dixon, Williams, and Starling. One of them, and I'm, I'm suggesting that potentially Starling or Dixon maybe play short just from a – if Cliff decides to go all offense. One right. Now, I don't think you could replace Barini's defense by any stretch. And quite frankly, the things he does at the plate, uh, working counts. I mean, we saw the 14-pitch at bat the other day that ended up being huge. Uh, but you know the things that he does, but but we're not fooling anybody to say that he's you know he is a uh, you know he's not gonna he's not gonna drive a bunch of balls in gaps and hit balls out of the park. If you go offense with those three, and you know and provided Starling gets back and gets hot, um, that, it, that could be an interesting look. I, I just don't know how much you're willing to give up on defense. Mike Mullis talking some Pirate Baseball here uh, on Pirate Radio Live. Another question from Jamie. He says, no Eric Ritchie this uh, last weekend. Was that coach's decision or injury? You know anything about that, Mullis? Uh, I I have not heard anything about injury. I would think um, I would think it's a, hey, probably cool your heels and try to find some confidence yeah. you know, going forward because, you know, he obviously his, his struggles have been um, you know, in the forefront and concern. And, and you know, it, it is really strange, and I talked about some of this on the broadcast this weekend, when you look at the stat line coming out of the bullpen, I mean, you saw there was a big one going around social media today about a .92 ERA for uh, Lancer Shankman, and, um, and and all that stuff is true, right? But what, what the fans see when you are attending the game, you see some of the struggles – that make you nervous, but then all of a sudden, typically the pirates have been able to get out of it. So it's, you know, it's one of those things that from that, that maybe the aesthetics aren't exactly as, as we would want them as a fan base. We'd want it to be, Hey, bring a guy in from the bullpen. We need two outs. He comes in, throws six pitches and, you know, strikes two guys out. And that's just not where that's not where this team is. And quite frankly, that's not where college baseball is right now. 
Mully, you mentioned, uh, speaking on confidence, the Grand Slam is not going to uh, keep the Pirates from still playing good baseball and winning some games here. Uh, how about individual confidence with DiLorenzo uh, as a coach uh, in the past? You know, what what kind of talks do you have with him after he gives up one like that? You don't want that to, to stick with him. It may not stick with the team. It could stick with an individual. So how do you kind of avoid that with a player? Yeah, they'll they'll try to get him back out there in less of a leverage situation, and you know, kind of let him. I mean, he's the same guy that had the uh, you know had the, the close the game out on Friday night. Uh, of course, a little easier to pitch with uh, you know an eleven run lead, but he's out there trying to preserve a no hitter too. So there's a little bit of juice. So you know, he he's a freshman man, and and you know it. The moment did seem to be pretty fast for him, even just watching him warm up. It was he was kind of all over the place and. Um, you know, kind of o- overthrowing that slider a little bit. So, I mean, I think it's one of those deals. You, you, honestly, Clip, you're probably not going to know how this is affected him for the next couple weeks. You know, you kind of ease him back in, get him in some situations uh, that are maybe a little more uh, normal. Uh, I say a little more manageable. Uh, let him have success there, and then you know, down the road, you put him back in another leverage spot, and 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 you know, and and and. Look, that, that's a talented kid. This isn't this isn't the first time he's pitched in a big moment, but that was obviously a huge. Mike Mullis joining us. Mully, I uh, wanted to say too, I, I enjoyed hanging out with you at AJ's last Wednesday. Oh, did you at the, in the ball game? Uh, you said when you call a game, you kind of just picture yourself uh, hanging out with buddies, talking baseball, and with your voice going through the entire restaurant, I felt like I was hanging out with you. So uh, yeah. enjoyed it. Cool. Well, that makes me uh, that makes me happy. Mike Mullis, the voice of AJ McMurphy's when ECU is playing baseball. I thought that was uh, pretty cool. And a lot of people liking Mike Mullis's uh, analysis too. I'm seeing a lot of great things uh, out of uh, out of people, and they really like your uh, your commentary, Mully. Well, good. Thank you, John. That means a lot. You, uh, I, I got to ask you. I know we're on the air. Dinner good last night? It was delicious. Good. Okay. Good. Yes, sir. Ran to Mully yesterday at the grocery store. Mully, uh, a few more minutes to go with you. Did uh, did we witness a good Masters in 2024? What was your grade on it? Here's my take, okay? And, and I think the live guys, you know, Kepka and, uh, and, and DJ specifically, maybe have proven the theory that they are fat and happy. I mean, they were both bad. Uh, I, I think the folks at the Masters feel very fortunate that Scheffler played the way he played and won uh, because that is the only storyline that was really worth following. I mean, when, you know, when Tiger, you know, blows a shoe and falls back to the back and I mean, you, there really wasn't, I mean, Oberg or, you know, the, maybe the, the story there is how do you pronounce his name and what's the little circle over the A, I, you know, I, but outside of that, there were no, Max Homa gave us a little bit of excitement, but there really wasn't another story there other than Scheffler. Yeah, uh, and, and Coach Mack talked about the lack of viewership. The the viewers were down, and... 20% from last year's final round. Obviously, if Tiger makes a run or something, the viewership is up, but even if, like, Rom or Kepka or those guys were in it, would that have done anything? Is, and and Mack said it's about just kind of the bad taste that the whole live PGA has left in, in people's mouths. Is that really it, Mully? Why, how do you explain the viewership being down so much with Scheffler, uh, the, the world's greatest, playing the way he was at the Masters? First off, Scheffler, which is, you know, this is what you want to have an athlete if, if, you're, a, if you're a coach. Scheffler's a guy that just shows up, shows up, does his job. There's not a whole lot of flash there. He is super boring, Mully. Yeah, he. But but you know what he's he, right now, and you know the the, the reach. And I, every time I watch a PGA event or whatever, the reach to find the next Tiger Woods, like Charlie Woods, is sitting in an absolutely incredible position uh, because if he can be half of what his dad was, the world is his oyster because the world of golf is dying for the quote unquote next Tiger Woods. And so I, I and I think the live PGA drama has 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 taken a. I mean, people like me that. You know, I that was I wanted to cut the PJ, you know, cut the golf on, and why, I mean, I, I I followed it like religiously on the weekends, and I'm checking my phone, and you know, and I'm talking about if it's you know the 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 Houston Open, or I mean, it didn't matter. I wanted to know what was going on. Now it's like 
there's there's very little, especially with the PGA Tour, that's compelling. And the marketing and broadcasting for Live is almost like it's you know you're watching something you know produced on NFHS with a, a single camera and a dude with a cell phone. So it's I mean it's it's kind of lost its luster. I would tell you this: possibly the most interesting story in golf right now is the whole Rory McIlroy deal. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a story circulated that he was uh, contemplating eight hundred and fifty million and a percentage ownership to sign with the Live Tour now. Mm. His camp has come out now and said, you know, they no, that's not the case. This was fabricated, blah, blah, blah. Depends on how you feel, where there's smoke, there's fire. I, you know, I don't, but I can tell you that would have been, I mean, that would have put him in a situation where the only person he could have played golf with would be Patrick Reed. And Patrick Reed would be like, man, thank you for doing that because now I'm not the biggest scumbag in golf. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's, it's a, uh, Again, unfortunately, that came out and, and said it's not true. It would be amazing to me. It would be just high drama to it be released here in the next you know, couple of days that Rory McIlroy has a deal, indeed inked to deal with the Lyft tour. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's uh, it's good fodder for, for conversation. Yeah. If there's anything good to talk about in golf right now. Interesting. Uh, Jerry says it was disappointing. DeChambeau fell down the leaderboard Sunday. would have been a great pga live battle never materialized yeah i texted you on saturday after dechambeau's uh meltdown hole and just kind of said there there it is mully and you said it was uh what uh, always uh just guaranteed to happen at some point yeah yeah no i look if and and, and whoever the, the whatever listener made that comment i will build on that and i completely agree i think the most interesting thing golf could do right now would literally be to do a Ryder Cup yep. added yep. live versus PGA Tour, and one hundred percent. You know, make it a uh, I mean, nearly a, a, a you know WWE type production, and let them go at it. No doubt, the stake somewhere north of like you know, if you put a team of, I don't know, if you put a team of twelve out there, put the stakes to where everybody's walking around, walking away with winner takes all, and each winner gets ten million bucks. Yeah. Uh, we, people would be locked into that. I think even the, the fringe golf fans would be interested in something like that. Molly, uh, we'll let you run. You got uh, any calls this weekend? You doing some games? No, man. We uh, They are going to pick up um, the uh, softball uh, series for full production, but ESPN Plus will have uh, Coach O and Scooter on the pass-through from radio, so everybody okay. will still be able to watch Pirate Radio. But, yeah, what a great season softball is having, and to get them – highlighted on some coverage is uh is a cool thing so that will be and, and quite frankly i'll, I'll enjoy uh, i'll enjoy watching the fire play there you go uh we'll have coach o dr gary overton on wednesday's edition of pirate radio live to talk about more pirate baseball molly thanks for joining us today man and uh we'll see you at the park this weekend okay sounds good guys later on there is the molly man mike mullis who has Pitt Community College ties. Brandon Manning, a former Pitt Community College Bulldog. I am a former Pitt Community College Bulldog. We have the softball team in here in a moment. We'll talk to another uh, former Bulldog who is now on the ECU club baseball team. Shea Ward going to join us on the show. Big weekend for club baseball. We'll get an update on their season and uh, talk more baseball. We'll have uh, multiple Mets fans in the Pirate Radio studios. we got Brett and... uh, Uh, Shay, coming up when we return Pirate Radio Live on a Tuesday. Back with you after this. If you're in the market for a swimming pool and you're located from the capital to the coast, Elite Pools can make it happen for you. They are the Carolina's premier fiberglass and concrete pool builder and renovation contractor. Every pool is built with the highest quality products and on schedule. Visit the Elite Pool showroom located across from Agri Supply in Greenville with fiberglass pools on site and a design center to simplify all of your pool selections. They also have a full service department with pool supplies and they provide expert water analysis. Call Elite Pools today at 689-6557 or visit Elite 
ElitePoolsNC.com. For pools, think Elite Pools. Country music artist and comedian Rodney Carrington is coming May 4th to Weldon Mills Theater, Eastern North Carolina's best entertainment venue. Conveniently located just off I-95 in Roanoke Rapids, Weldon Mills Theater offers a hassle-free entertainment experience with free parking, wallet-friendly concessions, and a cozy atmosphere. With comfortable seating throughout the venue, there isn't a bad seat in the house. Join Weldon Mills Theater for a memorable event where you can relax and make lasting memories. Get your tickets for Rodney Carrington on May 4th at WeldonMillsTheater.com. The price is always right at Doug Henry of Greenville. Doug Henry of Greenville is under new management with over 300 vehicles to choose from and brand new inventory arriving daily. Doug Henry is easy to find on the corner of Greenville Boulevard and Memorial Drive and always online at DougHenryGreenville.com. Come on down and purchase the vehicle of your dreams today at Doug Henry of Greenville. Right on the corner, right on the price. Doug Henry of Greenville. Go Pirates! This is Dr. Hasty from Orthopedics East and Sports Medicine Center. Our practice has been caring for the athletes at ECU and the residents of Eastern North Carolina for more than 35 years. Whether it's treatment for your sports injury or it's time for that joint replacement, Orthopedics East provides the latest in operative and non-operative orthopedic care. We also offer on-site physical therapy and MRI services, as well as a walk-in urgent care on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call us at 757-BONE or visit us online at orthoeast.com. Go Pirates. Hi, I'm Walker Allen Voliva, and I'm with Coffee Pro. Coffee Pro has been locally owned and operated here in eastern North Carolina for over 50 years. Coffee Pro is the leader in office technology. Does your business struggle with keeping printing costs low or producing professional documents? Here at Coffee Pro, total satisfaction is our number one priority. We have a variety of solutions to help reduce your printing expenses and make your business more productive. Call us today at 1 800 682 6558 or online at copypro.net. Coffee Pro, we are the professional office systems people. Horses make some of the best companions to the disabled through equine therapy. Did you know that Greenville is home to an equine therapeutic riding program? That program's Rocking Horse Ranch and we need your support. Helping is easy and fun. Come join us at our 20th annual Derby Dash Bash Saturday, May 4th at Rocking Horse Ranch. Festivities will begin at 4 p.m. and you'll enjoy drinks, dinner, dessert, plus we'll have games including a race raffle, wine toss, and ladies hat contest. Individual tickets are $85 per person. Please call 752-0153 or visit rhrnc.com. Chico's! <laughs> Chico's Mexican Restaurant is where the fiesta never ends. Grab your amigos and head to Chico's every Wednesday for shrimp tacos for $11.99. Plus, Wednesdays means all Mexican imports for just $2.99. Thursdays, enjoy your favorite beef, chicken, or vegetable fajitas for only $11.99. For Mexican food and fun, it's got to be Chico's Mexican Restaurant in downtown Greenville and online at chicosrestaurant.com. Chico's, where the fiesta never ends. I'm Donald Stocks, owner of Pip Marketing Signs Print. We are your one-stop shop for just about anything printed. If we're not your go-to printer, please give us a call at 355-1636. We have over 80 five-star Google reviews and want you to be our next more than satisfied and well-pleased customer. Check us out at growitpip.com or stop in to see us at 3185 Mosley Drive in Greenville. Pip where business goes to grow. Pirate Radio. They'll never forget the eccentric pirate bonnet and his savage, insane, vengeful pirate horse. See, he's a pirate. A real proper pirate. A proper pirate. That man is a fearsome pirate. Have I ever seen one? Yep. Yeah, he's definitely a pirate. The voice of the pirate nation. You're listening to Hour 2 of Pirate Radio Live. Do you need custom t-shirts, apparel, or promotional items for your business, organization, or event? Keep it local. Print it local with University Sportswear. Contact them today at universitysportswearenc.com. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. When you walk through the doors of Villa Verde, you'll experience the sights, sounds, and smells of authentic Dominican flavors. Villa Verde is inviting you to come by and try some of their amazing empanadas, famous red snapper, grouper bites, Uh, seafood paella, Cuban sandwiches, and more. You can relax with a fresh mojito or cold beer while enjoying one of our out-of-this-world desserts like the rum pineapple cake. Villa Verde on 10th Street, a platform for good and a proud supporter of the Pirate Nation. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live on a Tuesday. Clip Rock. B-Man, Brandon Manning is here. Shay Ward as well. 
from the number one team in the country, the ECU Club Baseball Pirates. And Shay, welcome in. Good to see you, man. Thank you. You as well. Congratulations. And uh, from what it appears, the next rankings, the rankings come out every Thursday? Every Thursday. Okay. Uh, will you still be in that number one spot? I would sure hope so after <laughs> beating the number three team in the nation, but we'll see. Pirates with a successful weekend, uh, knocking off NC State. And the big donkey, Stephen Shock, was in town uh-huh. to watch some club baseball uh-huh. on Sunday. Great to have him there. Uh have to give a shout out to the state fans there on one of his posts he was asking like what's one of the big games this weekend and a state fan was like oh come down to guy smith you'll have one of the best atmospheres 1v3 club baseball and he was like all right i'll give it a shot so he came down and he was there and saw the pirates uh win that one we'll do a ecu and uh ecu club baseball recap courtesy of brandon manning and farm bureau and uh alex harper can i hear that read from uh from alex harper please now is the perfect time for a review of your home auto and life insurance with a trusted and experienced agent call ecu grad brandon manning with farm bureau insurance at 531-1812 brandon's clients always have his cell phone number and is available before or after business hours call brandon today at 531-1812 to schedule a review and get a free quote Hey, like that, Brandon. Hey, like that. Dove coming very, in, coming very, to clutch right there. Very, uh, like very, very professional. Pr- pronunciation of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, well, Shay, tell us about the season so far. Coming off a huge weekend, uh, knocking off the number three Wolf Pack, but right now number one team in the country. Uh, I guess you guys are pretty uh, doing pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good. I think a difference from last year and this year is last year competition wasn't there. In my opinion, we weren't playing guys that are on our level. This year, we beat the number one team, the number two team, and now the number three team in the nation. And I think that's setting us up perfectly for regional play and World Series play if we're able to make it that far. What part of the uh, season are you in? How many more series and games do you have? We have one more series against App State this weekend. And if we win two of three there, we win the conference outright and then get the number one seed in the regional, which is in Martinsville, Virginia. And then we would get the one seed there and play who knows who yet and then uh that'll be like a regional atmosphere same thing as d1 team um and then if we win that we go to the world series in alton illinois so uh you do have to win that regional to advance to the world series yes. you don't just because you're number one you don't get any no, free pass no or free anything. Passes. um club baseball brandon do you ever think of uh of going that route Could, couldn't why not well i mean because i played two years at Pitt, and then when i was on i was actually kind of on the team I guess. <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I mean i know because once uh so way back then when you uh walked on uh they actually would have a uh tryout for walk-ons and then uh walk-ons that uh, uh ecu would be say hey uh, what are your interests they would be at the same time the club baseball uh, manager would be out there at the walk-on trials right. but i'd um they no, I want to say my buddy uh, Joe Karachi was maybe jo- doing Joe it. Joe Karachi was doing it, yeah. and uh, I knew Joe because he was coaching at Newburn uh, when I was in high school, and he was like Van Wilder when I was in college. He was <laughs> he was here for like thirteen years. Yeah, um, but no, I didn't. But I remember going. Uh, we would leave uh, if we had free time. We would go because there was a lot of guys that just for one reason, like there was I can't remember his name. He was like six foot five, lefty had a mullet way back before mullets became back a thing and he just hit the heck out of the ball like all oh, i was like man why is this guy billy guy was like hey thud you gotta get on he's like no nah, i'm good i'm good i'm going out i'm going out tonight i mean that, right and back then that was how they treated but now it is a program like right. i they they could compete with a lot of guys up and down ecu you know main ecu's baseball you know schedule i think is it a great mix shay of fun but also you're in it to win it serious baseball oh for sure and our coaches uh goose is what we call them ryan gosney and ben fox they do a really good job of balancing that i mean they're tough on us they want us to win we're here to win but they're also like y'all go have fun like this is club yeah. baseball and fox has been there for i a was while about too. to say we've had yeah. him on the show he's been fox, around a while fox has been there a while uh shay we we've talked to you a few times on the show from your time at Pitt community college and playing baseball where i know you've played multiple positions so where are you playing for the club team right now i'm dh and pitching when needed 
yeah and so a little first a little third whatever's needed i'm there i remember when you made that whole pitching move yeah uh, yep. right pit, that was good i remember watching you throw some bullpens man that was some electrifying stuff there big guy thank you thank you coach mills tried to tell me when i was in high school to be a pitcher and i was like no nah, i can hit <laughs> maybe should have listened to him but i'm having fun where i'm at now so we're good 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 to hear uh shea ward joining us so you got app state where is that series that is at App State, and okay. we actually get to play on their field, the App State's D1 field, so that'll be a fun experience. Do you do any stuff. midweek, or is it all weekend ball? All weekends. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you got that series, and then it's on to the regional if you are successful. Is yes. that right? Well, we have one more series that we're trying to work teams in because okay. we have a weekend off, Gotcha. and we don't want to go two weekends off with it just going dry into the regional, so we're trying to pick up some games there. Maybe one more uh, home series or yes, road? Yes, it'll be home. If, if you get it, it'll be home? So it'll be home next weekend. Where will the regional be played if you advance there? Uh, Martinsville, Virginia. So that's in Virginia. Yes. And then the World Series in Illinois, you said? Yes, Alton, Illinois. All right. Uh, so that is uh, what's left for this East Carolina Club baseball team. Um, I always ask when the, when the guys come on if people want to kind of help out uh, with – because you're, you're paying a lot of your own expenses, right? I guess there is yes. a club budget at ECU, but but how does all that work? Do you know? Uh, we have dues each semester. So we have fall dues and then spring dues. And then it's really based off, we go and get sponsorships. Like yeah. a big one for us is tiebreakers. They do a great job. Bram Anderson, he does what he can for us. And then last year we had Highway 55. We have something called a black sponsor, I believe. It's black or gold sponsor where they give $3,500 and then we get a jersey made and they have their logo on the jersey and everything like that. And all of that really helps with our travel, feeding the team and all that stuff because we carry 35 guys. So it's like a D1 roster with not D1 funding at all. So Were you, uh, did you play on the team last year? I did. Okay. Uh, how far did you go last year? We got to the regional championship game and lost to Virginia Tech, who eventually lost to Penn State in the World Series championship. Because Tyler said, didn't club baseball win it all a few years back? They've a few, few years. Yeah. yeah. They went back to back, I think, in 16 and 17 or something like that. Yeah. So trying to get that. I think they've done that more than once. I think they have yeah. too. I can't remember the dates, but or years. It is. I mean, in the club baseball world, East Carolina is a. A Blue program. Blood. They're the yeah, they're right. the program. Yeah, they're they're the what everybody wants to be and wants. They, that's the game everybody plays with. I mean, and there's been guys drafted off the club baseball team, and there's probably a guy or two now that has a chance to get drafted. I would assume. Um, I mean, there's this is literally nothing other than guys playing sandlot baseball, and it's great. It's Can y'all great. Help me with the name. Who, who's the guy that was on the club team that went to the Astros? That is Tanner Duncan. Tanner Duncan. I had him on the show. Yeah, I need to talk to him again. Yeah, huh? he went to AAA, and then he had a couple injuries, unfortunately. And now nah, he's still chucking the ball in 97, so <laughs> Man. trying to play somewhere. Are you uh, going to try to continue your career? Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how this year ends. I mean, I'm playing well right now. I'll probably throw a couple bullpens, let people see what it is. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, there there's options out there for you. Uh, Eric says, Brandon Manning is the guy you want handling your insurance. Brandon is not the guy you want talking to cops when they get called to the party. Now, what does he mean by that, Brian? <laughs> I got to I got to see exactly who this guy is. No, it's again, it's just it's a random guy. Not not everybody listening knows I, you or you know them. Ah, uh, man, I I would like to bet against that if anybody did. I would think Brandon college. is the guy you want talking. I figure he could I, talk himself out of in, pretty much anything. in and out <laughs> of anything, most of anything. Uh, I in mean, I, like I was talking to somebody the other day, like you know what? I went to umpire. I was like, look, sir, you're you're not doing good tonight. But I've never been thrown out of the game, so I'm not going to be upset about it. And I just went to him. He's like, you know what? You're right. I mean, sometimes it's just how you talk to somebody. You don't have to be a butthole and talk to cops and like they're doing a job. Yeah, umpires are doing a job. Let them do it. Hey, if they're not doing up to the, the the best of their ability, maybe tell them in a polite way, tactively, and you know, go from there. But did no, you talk to the police that night? We got called at Uncle David's farm, or was that? Did you? Were uh, you a spokesman? I was in eighth grade. <laughs> uh, I was riding a four wheeler down the road, so I, I beat all y'all out of the woods. <laughs> All right, uh, Ty Colmore says Shea Ward, GOAT. We've talked to Ty yeah. on the show. Is he still on the team? Yeah, Ty's still on the team. Right. Number one, two guy, still throwing it. He's done it all four years, and he's going to continue to do it. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, Shea, how the Mets doing? Well, you know, being the Mets. We got uh, Brett. You want to you wanna join in? Brett's already uh, jumped on his DraftKings. And oh. what would you get? Uh, first run scored tonight, New York, I believe he said. He was getting involved in. What you got, Brett? Was it a Subway Series? First hit the mic hit the mic <laughs> I sure. got yeah. 
I got the Mets to score first tonight. All right. And Why? And I just, they're hot. <laughs> How hot are they? Hot. Are they? Are they hot? Well, they're hot they, enough. They started off on five. Now we're eight and eight. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're making a comeback. We beat the Pirates yesterday in a outstanding game. It was zero zero all the way to the eighth. Pulled out a win. That's Mets baseball right there. Rubber match, baby. Just not scoring. Um, we beat the Braves. We yeah. won that series last week. So scored, now, a, scored a lot of runs. There. Confidence sure did. is high. The bats are moving. And I think we're going to jump all over them in the first inning. Okay. First inning. I love it. Yeah. Score first. And you're the home team, so you got to get through that top of the first. We are home. The Who's crowd pitching? is getting in it. Quintana. The oh, crowd is yeah. not getting in it. No. Yes, they are. No, the no, crowd's no. coming back. Okay. I'm telling you. Slowly but surely. And Quintana, can he play, throw a clean inning? Well, he's been all right. He's <laughs> not the first game. but He's, gotta, he's old. That's okay. Right. He's old. But our new guy, Buto. Buto's a beast. I feel like you're calling me a derogatory term. <laughs> yes. No, that's Jose Buto, man. Buto. You don't right. have me this he's time. Right. I'll say forget you. Oh, that's Joe, Joe Boo. Joe Boo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There you go. There's your Mets update. Uh, so Mets. I know your pops is uh, hoping this year could be the year. This is the year. I will say this. Preseason, nobody was talking about the Mets. So maybe that's a good thing. Usually it's, hey, watch out for the Mets. Nobody was talking about them this preseason. Well, we had to get rid of our whole starting yeah. rotation. And then the, the owner was like kind of thinking this year was going to be just a competitive year right and he's going all in next year when we yeah. get Juan Soto yeah well Soto <laughs> what? what Juan yeah. Soto's a Met you heard it here first all right Pirate Radio you need to get a shortstop we have what? a shortstop we have a silver we have slugger a shortstop, shortstop for the next 10 years and we have Alcuna in the minors don't look at his bat and average. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, Francisco Lindor's hitting 150, but Yeah, he stinks. Yeah, but yeah. you got to look at all his years on the Mets. He always starts off slow and then has like 106 yeah. RBI. The problem is when you have to put the term all these years with an athlete, typically that means they're starting to – it's harder to bounce back unless you're Tom Brady. Well, he's been doing good. And if you do look in our minors, we got Mauricio, who's coming off an injury. So once he's back, he'll be good. We got Alcuna. His brother. I am interested to see how Acuna does. I remember that trade with the rink because he played for the Wood Ducks. He had a pretty good play the other day. He made a Sports Center top 10 the other day. The younger Acuna? Yeah. Yeah, He's an infielder, right? Yes. And we got Jet, too. Jet Williams. All right. I don't know any of these guys, but. We will in a couple years. We will. Prince for sure. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, Shea Ward, Mets fan, joining us uh, from the ECU Club Baseball Pirates. New poll comes out Thursday. Uh, he is expected to see his uh, team at the top of that poll. You said you knocked off the uh, number two. Was that Cal Poly or no, another team? Okay. At the beginning of the year, the first series that we had was Virginia Tech. Okay. They were the number two team in the nation. And then maybe a month ago now, Penn State was number one, and we beat them wow. two games. Wow. Okay, so you have played the best. Yes. And to be the man, you got to beat the man. Right Correct. now, you're the man. Uh, so good luck the rest of the way, Shay. Um, maybe one more series. We'll keep an eye on that at home. Right. Um, yes. And if uh, just let me know, or we'll we'll put it out there. All right. People can go. But you play your home games at Guy Smith. Guy Smith Stadium. Yeah. Sir. Pretty cool stadium to yes. uh, play games in. Right. Free entry as well. Awesome. All right. Well, Shay, uh, keep up the good work, man. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Shay Ward joining us. Pirate Radio Studios. B-Man, you going to stick around? Or? Heck yeah. All right, good. Because we got Bryce Williams. That means I got to get out of this chair. Yeah, that is true. And CJ Strzok will join us. The Strzok family uh, just gave a big time donation. They struck Strzok a check. check. Well done. Well done. Uh, to the Pirates Unite campaign. We'll talk about that. Some deep sea fishing and uh, more. Also, tight end news for Bryce Williams. Nobody is wearing his number 80 currently because Shane Calhoun entered the portal. So we'll talk about that with Bryce as well when we return Pirate Radio Live after this. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. It's not a great time, it's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock, and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownandwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal, 
to make sure you leave a happy customer. Pirate Fest, presented by Optimum, offers a full day of piratical tomfoolery for all ages. This free event includes over 125 vendors, food trucks, art demos, inflatables, and of course, pirates. Join us on Saturday, April 20th, from 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for live pirate reenactments, great food, and so much more. Finish off the day with a concert at the Greenville Toyota Amphitheater from Sister Hazel with special guest Taylor Holder. For more information, visit PirateFestNC.com. Com. It's going to be our song. The Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates in eastern North Carolina. Open seven days a week with live music, Monday through Wednesday, acoustic night. Thursday, we have line dancing from 7 to 9, followed by karaoke with DJ Dog. On Friday and Saturday night, enjoy the best local bands in the area. Check out Facebook and Instagram for all up-to-date information and band schedules. Y'all come get bucked up. Want a great lunch with quick service? Huckleburger. Need a place to dine out with the family tonight? Huckleburger. The fastest full service restaurant in town. Huckleburger. Huckleburger is committed to three core values. Highest level of customer service, high quality delicious food, and lightning speed. The Huckleburger menu features delicious burgers, cheesesteaks, chicken sandwiches, black bean burgers, salads, and much more. Huckleburger in Greenville near Lowe's on Memorial Drive and off of 15th Street near the movie theater in Washington. Huckleburger. Delicious, fast, fresh, and friendly. Your first stop for shopping is at Shimmer Boutique. This is Ashley from Shimmer. We are fully stocked with the latest apparel, shoes, and accessories and more. If you need gift ideas or some shopping therapy for yourself, stop by today. Looking for the hottest shoes on the market? Shimmer has the biggest selection of Hey Dudes anywhere. Shimmer has the newest Yeti products and colors. Want this year's most popular bag? Shimmer has a great selection of all your bog bag needs and accessories. Shimmer in Greenville, Winterville, and Jacksonville. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. In this new world of having everything delivered to your home or office, why wouldn't you start using Cellular Warehouse for all of your cellular deliveries? Toby Williams and his team are in the business of delivering phones and tablets every day to customers, which enables you to take the hassle out of visiting a store. The best thing about this great service is that it's free. Call Toby Williams today at 252-799-7051. That's 252-799-7051. And let his team make your wireless experience fast and easy. Cellular Warehouse, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent. It's bow time. <laughs> when you combine the bold taste of a Bojangles Chicken Supreme with dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go, you get Bo's Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks, available for a limited time only. It's bow time. <laughs> it's bow time. <laughs> Bojangles' new chicken rice bowl is bold from the bottom up with a base of dirty rice, Cajun pintos, grilled chicken or supremes, and a sprinkle of cheese. Like it hot? Add a dash of Texas Pete. Head to Bojangles and try the new chicken rice bowl for a limited time. It's bow time. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Washington's favorite place to eat and where all the locals go is down on Main Street. Down on Main Street's famous weekday lunch specials are only $7.99. You can stop by for the house salad with grilled chicken, the half club sandwich with chips, or everyone's favorite, the fried shrimp plate. After work, you can... Uh, stop by for uh, dinner and drinks on the patio. It's the perfect spot and you can also join Down on Main every Wednesday for half price wings from 4 p.m. to close. Down on Main Street on Main Street in historic downtown Washington. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Clip. Back with you Pirate Radio Live on a packed Tuesday show. Man, we've uh, and a kind of got a Pitt Community College Bulldog flavor to it as well. I love it. Be, Be a man. dog. Can relate to that. Be a dog. Mm-hmm. 
You don't want to be a cat. Oh, look at me. I got my, no. my, you my don't gloves You don't want to be a show on. dog. You don't want to be a hurricane be. either. Hey, whose voice was that? We got some intros to do, Shirley. Hit, me, <laughs> hit an intro real quick. One, two, three, four. I saw the light. I was baptized by the fire in your touch and the flame in your eyes. I'm born to love again. I'm a brand new man. There you go, Bryce Williams here. I used to be on wheels, back when I was a younger man. Now my body says, oh, you can't do this, boy. But my body says, oh, yes, you can. <laughs> I ain't as good as I once was. That's just the cold, hard truth. I still throw a few back, talk a little smack. Man, I'm feeling bulletproof. So don't double talk every now, because I'd have to call your blood. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Brandon Manning and Bryce Williams here on a Tuesday. How are you, fellas? Howdy. How goes it? How how's it go? Bryce, we're going to talk to one of your old teammates here in a moment. CJ Struck, the Struck family. Struck a check. That they did to the Pirates Unite campaign. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk some current football. We'll talk some deep sea fishing and, Mm -hmm. I guess, everything in between. That's what CJ does, right? Yeah. They'll they'll be in the big rock house, I'm assuming. Yeah. Nice. Which is when? Mm June-ish. June-ish. What boat? Do you know what boat? Their boat, uh, the Piracy. Okay, that's a man. That's a great boat. That yeah. they're they're on up there most years. Mm-hmm. B man, we got a uh, starting lineup for ECU and William and Mary. You want to hear it? Yes, sir. All right, leading off Riley Johnson in center, Carter Cunningham playing first, hitting second. Jacob Jenkins Coward is in right, hitting third. Dixon Williams playing second base, hitting cleanup. Bristol Carter is in left, hitting fifth. Justin Wilcoxon behind the dish, hitting a sixth. The DH for the Pirates. Cam Clunch. I like it. Hitting seventh. Kobe Wallace over at third, hitting eighth. Joey Barini at short, hitting ninth. And Jaden Winter will be on the mound for the Pirates. I like it all. I'm, I, I like Clunch. I like Clunch a lot. Um, you know, uh, uh, his, uh, him as a person says a lot to him because he could have probably left in this day of age of college athletics he could have left and started Absolutely. at a lot of schools but he wanted to see this process and see it through and he's got ability man really really does i still feel like he's gonna come up, and, and today could be the day but in a big moment what a bat to have if he's coming off to pinch hit or so, oh yeah a situation and and, and Mully and you touched on it when Starling comes back to have another right-handed bat in there ready to go at a clutch moment as well. God, it's going to set us up, you know, towards the end Speaking of the of run. Speaking of Wallace. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, B-Man here, the Farm Bureau ECU baseball recap, and Bryce Williams here. Bryce, uh, we got some news today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, uh, now, maybe <laughs> Shane Calhoun's retiring, or <laughs> retiring. Maybe he is transferring because they're retiring the number 80 jersey. That, that's good. Hey, Do I'll you know, that. Is that, I mean, any. Uh, I haven't heard anything yet, but, you know, maybe they're just waiting the last Waiting minute. on that call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we do have a film crew following Bryce around just in case <laughs> when he gets that call. Uh, Shane Calhoun entering the portal. What you think, Bryce? Uh, I'm shocked. I'm kind of, I would love to know reasons behind it. Um, it'd be hard to think of a football reason i would think you know between him and casey kelly they'd be the ones and twos um you know this season for sure but you know with i guess there's two was the two younger guys then you have the number nine tyler seven i didn't watch the spring game was were they utilized so uh, no not Uh, really no no shane calhoun he didn't participate he did not play from his wrist and then casey kelly saw him out there catchers one or two catches, nothing crazy. Um, I felt like they had them bright. Did they line up at tight end? They were more in the what would you call slot. that? The, what, like, oh, the like the X or Y off the hip of the tackle, right? Shit, yeah, just off the ball, some like um, a wing. Spot yeah, they're doing that. Some I don't remember seeing um, number Savage. Yeah, I, I don't know if don't he know was banged up as well. So, does, is it the air raid? Does they typically utilize the tight end as a tight end? Or, I mean, that's what yeah, I was yeah, thinking, so, yeah, right? Yeah, I think the tight end, good. Mike Houston has said it's going to be very important yeah. in this offense. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's I was, strange timing. Yeah, yeah uh, Dev, that's actually what a buddy just said was strange timing. But, uh, yeah, I'm a little shocked by it. I'm not really, I would, like I said, love to know the reason why. Um, you know, between the practice, I saw him. Um, play at you know him and casey keller were making plays and you know, he had the younger guys you know, doing some things but obviously they those two guys stood out to me um at that practice so it's kind of a bummer um 
I'd be curious to know where he ends up, and but kind of who's going to fill his shoes. I mean, obviously he was a really good player. And um, where's he from? Calhoun. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm going to say Virginia, and then I'm going to look it up and find out. But uh, I mean, at, you know, at the moment, you know, it seems like it's a big hit in the tight end room, in my yeah, opinion, as of right now. But right. Um, you know, as one leaves um, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida, huh? So, you know, but as one leads, maybe these younger guys can step up and. And you, you, you know, never know. It could be a world. personal reason he's got to get closer to home all of a sudden. You don't ever know. Like Gardner Minshew? Yeah. Closer to home and ended up yeah. on the other yeah. side of the coast. <laughs> but, man, I mean, I, I, I just like the name Shane Calhoun, number one. I mean, he, but he was pretty good, very reliable with his hands yeah. for the last couple of years. He's been great. That's yep. gonna, that's, that's, and he's got a real quarterback to throw to him this year. I know. It's kind of a shame. I, I know. He, it, is, it definitely is a bummer. I'd be curious if we fill that uh, spot with somebody else um, at the last minute um, or if we just sort of utilize what we have. Is there anybody that's uh, not or like a Juco or a guy transfer question. that's not showing up yet? I don't know the answer to that no, okay. one way or the other. But that is a good question. Maybe there is some incoming talent there yeah. or – and it's never too late to add a portal tight end now. Well, I mean, one. it's very, uh, you know, I hate to use this, a Mackish. You know, you're a senior year and you want to show out the best you can. You need to be on the field more and more. Um, and knowing that, you know, you're going to have to split time with a younger guy when you've never had to split time before is in the back of your head. Now you need to get out there and showcase your talents a little bit more. There's all sorts of reasons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bryce, did you go to the spring game? I did. Um, I did. Yeah. That first quarter was something. That was exciting. Man. There was some good long balls on each end of the uh, blue and – blue. On each end of the purple and gold, you know, each side of each quarterback was doing well. Um, very exciting. Uh, number 13 um, made some huge plays. He made some big plays when I was at the practice um, the other week. And Is that was, uh, Anthony Smith? Yes. Yeah, receiver. Um, he, reminds he looks me, good. He reminds me of one of uh, – I think it's one of Rocco's – Buddies, and I cannot remember the name to save my life. Um, like Maurice something. They play with like the Redskins and stuff, and but like oh. with the hair, like tall, slender, um, had the longer hair, and I cannot think yeah. of his name. I um, used to um, talk about him, and I see Rocco liked every one of my tweets when I, I I'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, so he reminds me of him. Um, I mean, making huge plays at that practice, big plays the spring game. Um, obviously, number one for us, he reminds me of uh, Tavon Austin. Um, you know, the place he makes. Obviously, he's shorter, wearing number one. Um, just kind of that scrappy, smaller fella, you know, but can you know make plays. Uh, did you did one quarterback play better than the other? Um, in your opinion, Maurice I, Harris was that name. Maurice by the Harris, way. Yes. wearing number thirteen. Yes. Okay. Um, it's, that's who Smith reminds me of. Okay. Um, but. At first, it looked like I think it was Caden. Uh, is, is it Caden or Caden? Caden. Caden. I don't gonna do good with pronunciations. I just kind of. Our country would so just be Caden. Yeah, Caden. Yeah, Caden. Yeah, Caden was just one pretty, syllable. Caden. Yeah, was looking like pretty in, good. My name's not Brandon in the country. It's Brian. Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Brandon. There's no D. It's no, Brandon. it's just I'm like a muffin. Right. <laughs> Brandon. So, uh, but he was doing pretty well. But um, then Garcia was doing. I think they all played. Um, between those two, pretty much the same. Each yeah. qu- every quarterback had a pick. Um, you know, so I was like, well, dang, I guess that evens out there. But Mike Houston said the uh, picks were kind of on, were not on the QBs. Right. So, no, I'd yeah. be curious to see the film on that because obviously initially when you just get to see it one time, it's like, oh, dang. But it could have been, you know, the quarter, uh, the receiver turned the wrong way in those option routes they have, and you know, to you know, any any sorts of reasons i've been curious to actually hear that film session i may have to just ask uh, coach baker if you're just like putting some glasses on you're just sneaking into a film session it's kind of i need to i need to sit in the back of class i could probably figure it out i could sneak in by one of the football guys um i think normally have you still look young enough to fit in yeah we've talked about this i think with you bryce but but savage was saying on friday when we talked to him that the terminology got simpler it was kind of simplified yeah Did, when you played you said it was oh pretty like y'all were moving up and down and scoring all them points but oh, as far crazy. as what you were doing it was pretty simple oh my gosh one hand signal told everybody what to do i mean it was unreal how simple it was um 
an obviously effective and it was great because the less you got to think obviously the better you can do when you have to think about this long drawn out play you're like what the heck you know which which of course you pick out the only only one or two things are dedicated to each position so it's not terrible mm-hmm. Shane used to but, do that um, a lot just, uh, yeah what's that man uh, I don't know what man. you doing bro I can't even remember <laughs> like, Shane, Shane would turn I around and do this uh, to both sides and I was like what is that what is he doing revving I, up I mean just, I cannot remember what that was was and then something with this one or um, that was this would be like ace flip something like that we know what that is too yeah ace yeah. flip the single receiver the single receiver and most of the time that would be like a Y so it was always nice when they would do this, this was or, just X Y's X out Y in like that was what when we played yeah football. it was things like that and that's what NFL almost is it's almost things like that but the Patriots had a really simple um, terminology um, which was wonderful and then I went to the Rams and that was like what the heck <laughs> and then McVay's offense came in and that made sense so it sounds like the good offenses are simple. almost more simple right. than the oh yeah. for sure it's yeah. the kiss method man it's just yeah. like hitting keep it simple stupid keep yeah. it simple stupid Chad says can we start calling Brandon Muffin now here's the thing if I say yes you'll do it if I say no you'll want to do it even more so I, I'm kind of screwed here Brandon just ignore Chad ignore that ignore Chad so don't call Brandon Muffin whatever you do depends on what whatever we're talking about don't if you're like come here Muffin <laughs> listen then I know it's a sign like come Cliff here, loves Muffin. me Hey, no. Come here, Muffin. Muffin, you're doing a great job. Hey, yeah, Muffin, thanks. How are you? We got to get Muffin out of here. Um, so before we oh, do God. and get to CJ Struck, um, you worried at all that that Grand Slam lingers from Sunday? We no, all right. no, no. We, we talk about it. Uh, you know, try to sweep it home, and uh, that you did. A, I've never heard them break down that they want to go eight and three, eight and three, eight and three, like they did the other. Um, oh yeah, talk to the Dixon guys. About it. That makes perfect sense. Um, I just hope uh, DeLorenzo, because he hadn't been pitching a lot lately, he yeah. comes in, and I hope that doesn't mess with his personal psyche, but I think he'll be fine. AK will have him in you know in a great way. Um, I personally think Charlotte came in only wanting to get one game. If you look at it, their starter on Friday was not good, and they pitched him way too long. They didn't care if they win that game. Nobody was warming up in the bullpen, and then they threw their studs trying to win one game. So that's what they wanted to they do. Got they got their one, yeah. and we're kind of lucky to do it. But a uh, good week for East Carolina last week. Got William and Mary. Uh, good series coming up this weekend, Wichita State, Brandon. Yeah, and I, and I circled that uh, when we did our preseason. This yeah. is a, a good a good series. This is a very good one because I thought, historically speaking, they were going to have a great run this year, and I think they're in the middle of the pack right now. Um, I would love uh, for us to get a sweep this year, this weekend. And uh, if you like some drama, we're still chasing UTSA, so we got to keep scoreboard watching, I guess. How, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I on, thought we'd have them by yeah. now, too. I, I, we just need somebody to uh, string together. Uh, you know, they need a bad weekend. Yeah. All right, B-Man, a.k.a. Muffin, thank you for joining us. Can we get uh, some Alex Harper one more time reading uh, This is great. some very important words? For Brandon Manning. Now is the perfect time for a review of your home, auto, and life insurance with a trusted and experienced agent. Call ECU grad Brandon Manning with Farm Bureau Insurance at 531-1812. Brandon's clients always have his cell phone number and is available before or after business hours. Call Brandon today at 531-1812 to schedule a review and get a free quote. Brandon, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you, Alex. Where he's not here. Nope, he's not, here. he's not. We have every intern here but Alex at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Shirley, as we go to break, uh, let's make somebody a winner. Ticket Tuesday. You want to be out there with B-Man? Will, will you give our Tuesday Ticket Tuesday giveaway winner a hot dog this weekend? Sure. If they see you in the parking yeah. lot? <laughs> we did a uh, smash burgers uh, Saturday Ooh. on the Blackstone out there. It was, pretty, it was legit. Man. Mm. Wish you could have been there. Wish I could have been, been there, there for that. I think John Anderson. Uh, Ticket Tuesday brought to you by Toby Williams Sailor Warehouse. What call do you want to do, Shirley? Seven. Caller seven. 317 1250 wins a pair of tickets to ECU and Wichita State for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Call now, 317-1250. We'll have our winner. We'll have Bryce Williams, CJ Struck, and more after these words. Here with Jeff Stein at Brown & Wood, it's a great time to buy a used vehicle. 
It's not a great time, it's a perfect time to buy a used car from Brown & Wood. We have over 115 used vehicles in stock and we're number one in the market on price. We have limited lifetime powertrain on all of our used cars under 80,000 miles, so go to brownandwoodauto.com to find out more. Four brands, three generations, two rooftops, and one goal to make sure you leave a happy customer. Great food, great atmosphere, and great service is Atavola Market Cafe. Atavola is simply a restaurant that focuses on that, being a great restaurant. There's something for everyone at Atavola. The menu offers a variety of great choices like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, soups, salads, and seasonal rotating selections. Lunch or dinner, Atavola is always the right call. Call ahead and get Atavola to go. Or stop by the bar for a drink with friends. It's simple. Come and eat at Atavola Market Cafe, Red Banks Road next to Food Lion, and AtavolaMarket.com. Tavola, pirates supporting pirates. And then it was true, <laughs> We're here for the booty. Party? Pirate Water is here. Go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you. <laughs> We're going plankton! <laughs> Pirate Water is here. 21 and older, please drink responsibly. Save a load on a new John Deere compact utility tractor and loader from Quality Equipment. It's never been easier to get the best brand on the market at an unbeatable cash price or with great financing at our lowest ever monthly payment. Now is the time to get that tractor package you've been dreaming of to get your next job done right. Stop by one of our 36 locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia or visit us online at qualityequip.com. This is Brian Harris with 360 Golf Carts, Pitt County's go-to shop for all things golf carts. We have easy go, club car, and utility carts to choose from. Whether it's for the beach, riding around the neighborhood, or working in the yard, 360 Golf Carts has the perfect ride for you. If you have issues with your current cart, take it by my shop for an expert's diagnosis. From parts to sales to service, we have you covered. We will even deliver right to you. So come see me, Brian Harris, on Highway 43, just past D.H. Conley High School. 360 Golf Carts, Pirates supporting Pirates. Greenville's hometown pizzeria is Cuccinella's. Cuccinella's has two locations with great options for lunch, dinner, takeout, and they now offer catering. Dine in for lunch with a slice, salad, and a drink with a friend, or stop by after work and grab a beer or a glass of wine while you wait for your to-go order. The best pizza, grinders, salads, and homemade Italian ice is at Cuccinella's. Cuccinella's Midtown across from Best Buy, downtown across from Sup Dogs, and on Facebook and Instagram. Cuccinella's, serving handcrafted pizza since 1932. Come taste the difference. I'm Michael Vaughn with East Coast Grading and Utilities. Many of you know my dad, David Vaughn, and his work in putting in subdivisions all over Pirate Nation. But East Coast Grading and Utilities is not just for those type of big jobs. We're here for the homeowners. Whether it's concrete, driveways, hauling rock or sand, whatever you need, East Coast Grading and Utilities can get the job done. Call us at 252-531-7494 or check us out on Facebook at East Coast Grading and Utilities. Spring is in the air at your CBD store. Get 10% off any purchase. Just mention the code SPRING. If you struggle with sleep, anxiety, or pain, their CBD wellness specialist can help. Your CBD store's unique boutique also carries THCA flower and pre-rolls, Delta gummies, pet products, gifts, jewelry, and more. Call ahead for pickup at 999-5127. So spring on over to your CBD store today. Open Monday through Saturday from 11 to 7. Your CBD store, 420 East Arlington Boulevard in Greenville. Go Pirates! Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. Like a cold beer on a hot summer day. Nice. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Russell's in downtown Washington is the place to shop for all of your clothing needs, whether it's the great collection of men's suits and sport coats or the beautiful dresses and casual attire for women or outer where for both men and women, Russell's has you covered. Russell's clothing has served Eastern North Carolina and beyond for over 40 years. 
Russell's Clothing on Main Street in downtown Washington. And the Buccaneer Music Hall is your beacon of music in the land of pirates. Starting on Thursday night, it is the ultimate ladies' night. While the Studs of Steel show is in town, doors open at 7 o'clock. The show starts at 8. The weekend is stacked at the Buck with Cooper Greer on Friday night and the Eric Wayne Band Saturday night. And as always, ladies' entry is free all weekend long. Sunday fun day, the Buck hosts the ECU Club Cornhole Cornhole Tournament, and it's free for all, and bags fly at 3 o'clock. We'll see you at the Buck. Now let's head back in to PRL. Here's Cliff. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live. On a busy uh, Tuesday. Shirley, uh, who was our Ticket Tuesday winner? Uh, John Carton. That was our winner. Johnny Carwash. Congratulations, John. And Shirley, uh, can we hear Aharp talk about Toby Williams and Ticket Tuesday? Sure. All right, let's do it. In this new world of having everything delivered to your home or office, why wouldn't you start using Cellular Warehouse for all your cellular deliveries? Toby Williams and his team are in the business of delivering phones and tablets every day to customers, which enables you to take the hassle out of visiting a store. The best thing about this great service is that it is free. Call Toby Williams today at 252-799-7051 and let his team make your wireless experience fast and easy. Cellular Warehouse, your local U.S cellular authorized agent thank you to toby williams and ticket tuesday john carden going to see the pirates and the shockers play baseball this weekend all right bryce williams here in the pirate radio studios and uh we'll talk to one of his former teammates now cj struck former pirate lineman who joins us on the pirate radio live line cj how you doing man hey what's up brother i'm doing good good to hear hey hey ferb what's up finney <laughs> What you doing? Oh, just got off work. There we go. House. Yeah, just another normal Tuesday. There we go. What is uh, work for you, CJ? Uh, We have a family-owned business, uh, TMX Shipping Company in Moorhead City, and we handle U.S. exports of logs and lumber overseas. Awesome stuff. The uh, Strug family was in the news recently for their $1 million gift to the Pirates Unite campaign. And uh, CJ, got, got your name on that, and uh, Curtis as well, your father. But uh, how about that, donating back to uh, the school that, that both of y'all went to and, uh, you know, blood, sweat, and tears on that football field as well for you guys. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, it's an awesome feeling being able to give back to a place you know, that held such a special place in, in our hearts. And uh, it's even cooler to give back, you know, together with my dad. Um, having both play the ECU, you know, we're pirates through and through, and we definitely bleed purple and gold. So it's uh, very fortunate and blessed to be able to do it. CJ Strug joining us. Uh, CJ, this is for the Pirates Unite campaign. When you come around now, are you surprised at, at what it looks like today all around the athletic complex, compared, even compared to when you were here? And it wasn't that long ago, but uh, upgrades and uh, things changing every day around here, seemingly. Oh, yeah, man. It's uh, definitely positive, and, and we're, we're excited about where you know, the program, the athletic department, you know, all the facilities where it's heading. It's night and day compared to when me and Bryce were there. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm a little jealous. I ain't, ain't going to lie that we didn't get to experience that. But, uh, you know, I'm really happy for the student athletes. And I think it's going to be huge for recruiting, uh, taking care of our kids. And, you know, they, they've earned it. And uh, it's been a long time coming. That's funny, Bryce. I talked to guys who played prior to to when y'all were here, and they are jealous about things like black jerseys and things like that. Like every every few years, there's something else for a guy to be jealous about that the new guys get. So. Oh yeah, most definitely. I know um, CJ could probably agree. Uh, the uh, I love the white, you know, white helmets with the pirate script. Oh yeah, I just vintage, old school ECU um, would have to be my favorite. You know, Jersey, you know, edition that they've done. They got rid of the clip art that I always called a few <laughs> years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They are, uh, you know, they're that and the social media they're doing. It's, it's, it's 10 times better than when we were there. Oh, well, I would have loved oh, the have video a, productions yeah. and stuff. I, I would have liked to have a GoPro on CJ's head while he's, you know, during practice, me in the center. That would have been interesting. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Or Mike CJ up. Uh, C- it, you did. There'd probably be a lot of bleeping. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, were you able to? Uh, are you following the program now? Were you able to see any of uh, the spring game Saturday? 
I wasn't able to make the spring game. I had a out of town work event, but um, I've heard my a couple of my family members went. They said it was very, you know, very positive on the offensive side. And seeing the two quarterbacks battle it out, um, we're really excited about that. We have a quarterback pretty good this year, so um, that's that's what I got from that. Yeah, I didn't see the person, but I've heard from multiple people that it was uh, that was very good, very good turnout. And Bryce, I, I'm a huge Donnie fan. I know you were as well. He never cussed me out like he did you, but you're still a fan of him, right? But yeah. a change was needed, and it was the first chance for us to kind of see that change with our own two eyes, outsiders, on a Saturday. And Bryce, you've been to a practice. You, you probably you talked to some folks and maybe get some behind-the-scenes info, but I think it was kind of a show for the fans uh, and for the coaches to say, hey, we are addressing the problems from last year we have addressed them and it's going to be different this year and they put a small piece of that on display on saturday yeah most of i feel like they have definitely what they've been talking about in the off season about what kind of offense we're going to have um with the fast pace explosive all you know explosiveness um they definitely showed it during the spring game with you know some big long balls um in the first in the first half and i think the defense ended up making some adjustments um because they kind of slowed that down but uh it was great to see you know the talent we had um at skill position and the o-line you know the quarterbacks actually had uh you know a good amount of time you know to make the decision to make those throws cj for a lineman uh, in your case not only do you got to worry about the guy across from you and, and and doing your job and snapping the ball but also the pace the conditioning aspect and we've talked to you know dustin hall the center on this team a tackle in parker moore they said that it was a challenge early uh with all the the pace and the speed they're going with the tempo is that something that if you're well conditioned enough you can get used to or are you always kind of gasping for air uh when you get into the third and fourth quarter how is it for a lineman oh yeah it's something you get used to some it takes you know longer than others i think when when lincoln riley was our oc um we beat carolina at carolina we i think we we think we played 130 some snaps on offense that game <laughs> which is nuts right and you know some offenses only played 50 to 60 you know plays a game so it was something you didn't really have a choice. You either got used to it or you, or you got off the field. So we uh, we put the work in, you know, during the summertime. That's when you that's when you you know you, you get conditioned and that's when you get prepared. Um, but yeah, it's, it's come out of high school. You, it, you're not ready for that. You gotta gotta get used to it. I know you miss those uh, power units in the summer, there, CJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I dream about them every night. <laughs> what are those, Bryce? Tell the folks. Oh gosh, what were they, CJ? They were. Uh, you start like two three hundreds. Oh gosh, it was like two three hundreds timed, and then however many hundred yard sprints, and then you backed it down to however many like fifties and twenties, and then another three hundred, and something else, another three hundred. And then I don't know how long it ended up doing, but um, you know. So these are during the uh, summer, these like during the summer, away from the oh yeah the football. Like, I guess you're with your stream coach. Yeah, we're with the stream coach. Yeah. So it, you know the whole. That condition we did, uh, you know, at least when me and CJ were there, and you know the other guys, it was uh, it was pretty intense. A lot of uh, puking and rallying, um, <laughs> as in you're making the turn around the field and you're throwing up as you're still running. Um, but it, it was all part of the good fun. See, yeah, like I said, we didn't have a choice but to get used to it. And that's right. I found squats after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when CJ's throwing up, and then you have to go run however many you know twenty hundred yard sprints. Yeah, it's pretty tough. CJ Strug joining us. Uh, Bryce Williams to my left, talking some pirate football. CJ, do you, when you look at last year and see all the changes with the OC, the quarterbacks, uh, some some new personnel coming in. Um, with the way the defense played last year, do you feel like, hey, put a good offense on the field and, and let's go win six, seven, eight, nine games this year? Uh, they were they were in games because of their defense. The offense held them back. Uh, do you think that they have made enough changes to, to get some wins under their belt this season? Well, on paper, it definitely seems like they've made the right changes, brought the right kids in. Um, I think people should be more excited about Pirate football now than, than they have been in a long time. Um, the defense was awesome for us last year, and I think everybody expects them to be the same, if not better, this year. Um, so it's time for the offense to put their money where their mouth is and uh, see, see it on display. But everybody should be very excited about Pirate football. And um, I think everybody needs to be there to support them. And the last year was a, was a letdown, but you don't have those years. And uh, that's, that's kind of where you get stronger and um, you kind of overcome that adversity. 
pretty good continuity on that defensive side. One change, and it was a big one. Uh, Trip Weaver leaving to be uh, the D coordinator at Austin P. And Bryce, uh, you can attest to it. But everyone I've talked to likes Trip Weaver, just yeah. uh, as a coach and as a person. Um, the replacement they bring in, I don't know if it could have been any better with right. Damon Magazoo. Uh, kind of a, a similar situation. But how about bringing an old pirate back, uh, old great back, CJ? What do you think about Damon getting the uh, safeties job? Oh, yeah, man. I talked to Damon last week. He FaceTimed me and uh, just kind of caught up. And, that, man, I have to, I, that was probably the best move um, of the offseason, in my opinion, just bringing someone in there that knows what East Carolina is about and you know knows them through and through. And he's uh, he's a smart dude, and he, he, he eats, sleeps, and breathes it. So I think that was a big move for him, and I think it's going to be great for recruiting. I think it's going to be great for the players. He's young, um, and he was a baller. When he was there, I think he tasted over to his coaching his coaching style. CJ Strug joining us. Uh, CJ might have to talk to you here in a couple of months. Uh, you gearing up for the Big Rock this year? Oh yeah, yeah. We got Big Rock second week of June, and um, my wife's actually the the tournament director of the Big Rock. So I've been it's been Big Rock year round for me in my household. But <laughs> we're uh, we're pumped and fired up, and hopefully this year we can. We can get get the big one. It's been a couple down years for us, but we're uh, we're, we're excited to be able to do it. That's awesome. Uh, well, CJ, I'll thank you on behalf of the Pirate Nation. Uh, Curtis Strug, uh, CJ Strug, the Strug family, making a $1 million gift to the Pirates Unite campaign. And uh, that's going to go a long way. And CJ is a former player. He is a fan, alum, uh, and all of the above, and wanting to see his university, his athletic program compete. And, you know, it's getting harder and harder in this landscape, uh, CJ. But, but gifts like that uh, certainly help the machine go. So, that's just awesome man and uh i'll say it for everyone thank you for that yeah man of course and uh you know we felt like it was our duty to get back and um we want to do everything we can to get the parts where they need to be good stuff bryce uh what you call him fur 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to call him. For all, we've been on Nick, that nickname for like almost 10 years now. <laughs> Maybe it's just right at 10 years, which is crazy. I'm going to stick with CJ. Yeah. <laughs> CJ, thank you for joining us, man. Uh, we'll get you on and maybe talk some uh, fishing here in a couple months. Yeah, man, that sounds good. It's great catching up with y'all and uh, go Pirates. All right, yeah, buddy. There is CJ Struck joining us. Um, I showed you a picture a moment ago when i was doing the zoom room during COVID, i talked to yeah. cj oh, yeah. and now i remember he uh took his camera off his computer i guess and showed us where he had a big giant oh, marlin yeah. i think it yeah. is uh in his office that he had caught mm-hmm. so yeah cool stuff there all right uh let's take a break when we return john you want to uh john's not here he said he wanted to dive into the facebook comments put on the hazmat suits i guess we got some comments regarding uh shane calhoun Uh transferring so we'll read some of them get bryce's thoughts on that and have more for you pirate radio live on a tuesday back with you after this Pest Tech wants to thank Pirate Nation for voting them the number one pest control company in eastern North Carolina. Pest Tech is a full-service pest control company, offering a complete range of indoor and outdoor pest management and extermination services. Your experience is the Pest Tech guarantee, with a promise to deliver you results while keeping you, your family, and the environment safe. Call the best of the best to get rid of your pests. 353-4760. Pest Tech, the official pest control company of Pirate Radio. the best burgers around everyone loves a thick juicy and fresh burger tiebreakers does real burgers better than anybody and don't forget about the cheese sticks fresh salads and more so don't just go to any burger themed restaurant chain it's time to break the chain and eat local tiebreakers burgers and sports at its best go park Spring is a great time to plant flowers, trees, and bushes. When planning your landscape, please keep in mind that you should never plant anything within three feet of a gas, electric, or water meter. The same thing applies if you have an electric transformer in your yard, except keep plants eight feet clear of the front in case crews need access during a storm or an outage. Always remember to call 811 at least three business days before you dig to avoid underground lines. 
This important safety message is from your neighbors at Greenville Utilities. Hey, Power Nation. Be sure to have the best and comfortable shoes with a stop at Fleet Feet. This is ECU alum Chris Lunyon, owner of Fleet Feet of Greenville, and we provide solutions through one-on-one service to runners, walkers, and everyone in between. Fleet Feet has the tools and technology to get you in the right shoe, including a 3D foot scanner that measures arch height, width, and more. Come visit us at 207 East Arlington Boulevard in the old Gordon's Golf location. Fleet Feet, we run for you. Hey Pirate Nation, it's Caleb with Strouds Marine. Boating season is here and at Strouds Marine we are stocked up with over 20,000 pre-owned parts. We've got everything you need from propellers, lower units, trim units, electrical and fuel parts, and just about anything else you need for an outboard. Speaking of outboards, we will buy your old ones. And as always, our mission is to save you money and get you back out on the water as quickly as possible. Visit StroudsMarine.com today for more information. Strouds Marine, your best source for salvaged outboard parts. Get ready for an unforgettable evening at the Christ Covenant School Gala on Friday, May 10th. This is Reagan Waters with Christ Covenant School inviting you to join us at the charming Farmville Depot for a night of celebration and giving back. Our gala is open to everyone and proceeds will go towards our One Campus for Christ campaign. Get your tickets today at ChristCS.com and indulge in delicious food, fantastic entertainment, and bid on incredible auction items. We can't wait to see you on May 10th. Go to ChristCS.com now. This is Talbot Green with Integrity Home Mortgage. Are you ready and pre-approved if the home you want to purchase comes for sale today? This is a very important step when trying to purchase a home in the current market. Integrity Home Mortgage offers a wide variety of loan programs. Our team of Talbot Green, Braxton Green, and Joanne Weir has over 50 years of experience and is committed to providing you with the superior customer service you deserve. To get started, call me, Braxton Green, at 526-8260. Braxton Green, NMLS 222-3878. For informational purposes only, Yard Gnomes Baseball is here. The Greenville Yard Gnomes offer summer fun with your family and friends at an affordable price. Catch every game at historic Guy Smith Stadium and enjoy great food from area food trucks, cold beverages, and exciting baseball action. Single game tickets start as low as $10 and mini plans as low as $48. Visit YardGnomesBaseball.com to get your tickets and Yard Gnome swag. Come out and hang with your gnomies this summer with the Greenville Yard Gnomes. Pirate Radio. Mr. Gibbs. Cap. You may throw my hat. Aye, aye, Cap. Hooray! <laughs> I go and get it. The voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Order Jersey Mike subs on the mobile app and get delivery right to your home or save time and order ahead to skip the line to pick up from your nearest Jersey Mike's sub location. Jersey Mike a sub above. Now let's head back in to Pirate Radio Live. Here is your host, Clip Rock. Back with you, Pirate Radio Live. Bryce Williams just said, how many of those Planet of the Apes movies are they going to make? <laughs> I don't know the answer, but I like the, the series. <laughs> it's one of like the few things that comes out now that I'll go watch in a theater. Mm-hmm. I've seen at least one of them in a theater. I'm sure it has good... Um, mm, but not effects, uh, special stuff. effects and sound and oh uh, yeah, you know all that. Me and Anna went to watch a movie. What did we watch? Oh, we went to watch uh, the, du- the, the the second Dune. Dune, Dune Part T. Dune. Yeah, and I didn't see the first one, so I just was kind of there to support her. But it was <laughs> fairly interesting. Support her along the way. Yeah, I've been. I, I don't know why I haven't seen the first one yet. I have it on one of my streaming things, but um, I hadn't watched it yet. Dune. Last night. Um, hey, any of y'all watch uh, Netflix? Have y'all seen uh, Baby Reindeer or heard about it? It's a weird, like, it's supposed to be a true story, but this guy gets stalked by this woman. It's kind of creepy. I might have to, what? I might have to watch it. But I, I watched some of it last night. Is it a movie or a show? It's a show, but oh. there's like seven episodes and they're only like 25 minutes each, so it kind of feels like a movie. She's. Continue. Let's see. So you watch. So you just kind of binge it. Yeah, three, six, seven. It's on what now? Netflix. 
Never heard of it. One, two, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> so it's what about three out three four three hours ish, three and a half ish. Is that right? Twenty five minutes, fifty minutes. You know, two shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched uh, like three episodes and fell asleep or whatever. Chick Fil A out. Yeah. Dang. What's the benefits of that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What's the benefits of a Chick Fil A app? So last night, no Chick Fil A sauce. Last night I spent twenty dollars and scanned my thing. Now next time I go, I can get a free uh, fry Dang. with my purchase. Oh, sweet! Yeah, yeah like every other visit I do now, I get something for free. That's what I'm talking. So yeah, you need to. Hey, get you on know that. what? We want incentives in this, you know? Right. Yeah. Is it a small fry, a medium fry, a large uh, fry? Medium, in this case. Do you like, like, what's fry from fast food restaurants? I can get a large, too, if I want to. Mm. Are you a wa- are you, I like the Aussie waffles more so than any other. I love waffle fast fries. Food. It makes me miss yeah. O'Cool's because they're um, I never ate bacon that. cheese fries had were waffle fries. Oh, were they were so good. You put ranch on them? Actually. I was a ranch guy. Uh, yes. I a ranch guy. But. The little dollop of sour cream they put on it was Dang. great. Oh man! So it was like it was like loaded waffle fries, basically. God, I never stop went talking to about this. Is that bad? You know, I never went to O'Cools. Well, you're not really a local. <laughs> well, that's true. But when you were playing, O'Cools was popping. And I mean, uh, that's true. I, I guess as a college kid, I went to O'Cools quite a bit, but it's not bad per se. Had wings, right? Oh yeah, I love their refried. Which that was a tip from uh, my buddy Jason Butler. Rest in peace. Yes, sir. Refried jerk wings. Fry them and then fry them again, and they were extra crispy. Dang. Man, they were so good. The second time around, you, there's no way you cook them as long as the first, right? I wasn't back there cooking them. I, I, <laughs> what do you think? That I would be cool if you did, if you made yeah. your own wings. They weren't yeah. burnt, I can tell you that. They were just crispy, extra crispy. Hmm. And they have i had this discussion with a friend of mine they had like the runniest ranch oh, runny I ranch love, i love, I love, a, love good, a runny I ranch i love a good runny ranch and you yes. know i could go either way i wouldn't mind thick ranch but their that, runny ranch was really good i'm a runny ranch <laughs> you're a runny ranch Golly. Guy. all right there we go bryce and i always talk about food at this time it's every great. week i love it john you uh had a request you wanted to go inside the facebook comments sure do i need to put a helmet on or a yeah we need our hazmat chest suit. plate on yes sir you hazmat. need to, you need to be well protected because it gets ugly in there Uh oh. weird question did you wear a cup playing football i did not did some guy uh, hardy wore a cup well maybe you should have wore a cup Probably. He, he had a lot of catches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but uh, did you ever take one to the jewels or you were I never did. Yeah. Never did. Good to hear. Good yeah, to hear. Thank goodness. All right. Um uh, Sean, Pirate Radio put up the Shane Calhoun was entering the transfer portal. Mm. Yep, and we have thirty eight comments total. And uh Kenny starts it off with Wow. I can't I see Wow. Maybe it's because I sit at this seat every day and we talk about this every day, but I never say wow anymore if a guy transfers. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's almost like, wow, he's staying another year? That's great. Well, that's what Kenny said, and Wally said, Kelly Kelly must be legit. Kelly? Casey, Casey Kelly. Casey Kelly. Oh. Uh, another tight end we have on the roster. Sandy tomorrow. says, I think they should just do away with the transfer portal. Mm. See ya. Out of here. Oh, John yeah. says, I hate this portal crap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then Jerome Bacon, pirate great. Former pirate. Uh, he has earned his degree already. Go be great, young man. Mike says, well, dang, wish these young people could commit and see things through. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Rich says, the portal just blows for all of college athletics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jim says, better they are, more likely they leave. Must have been something in spring ball he did not like. I enjoy watching him. Bye. Marilyn Scott said, let the poaching season begin. <laughs> Kyle said, not not get enough play. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mike A says, smart guy, leave where you can make more money. With this new offensive scheme, his role, role R-O-L-L, went to more blocking for wide out routes. Hmm, is that true? I may have to disagree with that. Yeah, I don't know if any of that's true. Alan says, here we go with the tongue out emoji. Like that. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> here we go. Uh, 
Okay. Chip says, next man up. Pretty sure we can easily replace this production. And then he posts a picture of his uh, career stats here at East Carolina. Ah. We have not had a lot of tight end numbers, but I- I'm anxious to see what this offense does with the tight end. I think Zach made, uh, made a good point, too. Like Casey Kelly could be that tight end that fits this offense better you got a new position new tight end coach new coordinator the coaches have given the nudge before would they nudge out of shane calhoun i doubt it but we don't know Uh, we're just speculating dennis says of course he did meaning shane calhoun entered the transfer portal Mm -hmm. he said this transfer portal bleep will ensure that we are bottom of the fish tank for many seasons to come yeah I don't know. We just brought in two transfer quarterbacks mm-hmm. to try to get better. So it it works both ways. Like we right this year so far for basketball, uh, I'm going to say we're a net negative for the portal right now since we lost a million players. For football, on paper without seeing anything yet, I'm going to put us at a net positive. Now, I will be allowed to change that once real games begin, but would you rather have Hauser and Garcia. Garcia or the guys from last year and the quarterbacks we recruited to East Carolina. Mm. I'm I'm choosing Hauser and Garcia mm. from the transfer portal. Yes, sir. So uh, I don't know if you read Jim's comment, but if you did, it's funny enough anyway. Because he says, better they are, more likely they leave. Must have been doing something in spring ball he did not like. I enjoyed watching him. Then says, Bye. <laughs> yeah, I read it. I laughed the first time around. <laughs> Did you read? Uh, this is my bad. Sorry. That's all right. Did you read Dennis's comment below that? Is it a menacing comment? It says. <laughs> what is it? No. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Wilson. He says, "Yeah, if someone has one good season, dot 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 dot. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, uh, just for that. Let me check out Shane Calhoun's numbers. Uh somebody has them I know. posted. It was six touchdowns, 500 and something yards. Yeah, 63 receptions in 38 games played, 594 yards. Yards! Six touchdowns. His longest rece- or his longest yardage was 36. Well, he said if you have one good season, let's see you. Last year, 15 catches, 119 yards, two touchdowns. Would you call that a good season? For a tight end in East Carolina's offense (laughs) last year, yes, that's phenomenal. That's a Bryce Williams game. (laughs) Two games. Three games. How many catches? 15 catches, 119 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, that's yeah, around the two two and a half. Two and two and a half ish, maybe. Do you have a hundred yard game here? Uh I was close then against Florida. I think it was like ninety. Oh man. Oh they were feeding you. They were feeding you that last drive. Gum it. You were dead. I know. You didn't even know you were out there. No, I didn't. I asked JT if he was good. <laughs> hey, buddy, you good? You good? <laughs> I said, he was helping me out. <laughs> I still remember that. All right, Bryce, come on, come on. You good, bud? Are you good? You good, man? I'm good. I want to know if you're good. All right, there you go. Shane Calhoun in the portal. Mm, well, who's going to wear number 80 now? That is the question. Does it stay unlocked uh does it go to a receiver receivers like these smaller numbers now yeah maybe uh maybe like a defensive end or something wearing 80 you don't like that i like it for being a tight end another tight end yeah maybe there's a tight end so our guy who's the uh tight end that caught a pass number 45 the other day oh uh he needs to upgrade mason brown yeah uh, yeah james you keenan just, tiger you can't just give that number to anybody Ooh. <laughs> well maybe they're well, gonna no, here's the thing if nobody takes 80 this year nobody else gets it for the rest of life that's it's right. retired that's right retired. rice williams uh, it's retired that two seven five you know we're gonna run out of numbers uh, we need to at least honor them Retire, no, but throw up uh, those numbers in the stadium or around, you know, talk go. about the uh, the exploits of our great pirates. So let me look at the tight end numbers currently and see who needs to upgrade. Hmm, let's see. Let me, let me upgrade. Now, what you, you know, Casey Kelly could get rid of 10 and put 80 on. They like those low numbers, I though, know, man. I don't get it. Is that a young fad thing? Well, it's been it's around fad. for a while. But now in the NFL, you don't have to be in the 80s. So you're seeing those guys go single digits. Who's that changed that? a couple years ago. DJ Moore went 
uh, from a 12 to 2. Gerald Everett, uh, tight end, is yeah. a single digit guy now, I want to uh, say. Eight seven? Or, nine. or seven. No, he's nine. I, I, that sounds right to me. I think he's nine. Nobody checked. Oh, he's, he's seven. I like the 80s. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems so fitting. All right, Luke Holmes, tight end number 39, needs an upgrade. Needs an on upgrade. His number. Mason Brown, number 45, needs an upgrade. Antonio Ferguson's good at 85. 85 is a good tight end number. Yep, yeah. Kelly's at 10. Savage is at 9. Riles is at 6. Look at all these uh, single digit I didn't numbers. see we any got. of these guys. I know. We didn't see the I tight end at all. Wait, no, I think he was hurt. We also didn't see any special teams. They have a new special teams coach. I wonder if. It, it, was that a hide the what we got thing? Oh, yeah, that's true. We didn't see. Because that's why they didn't do the special teams, because it's a whole new scheme and stuff. Uh, and they didn't want people to see it. Maybe. Maybe the tight end, because again, we, I feel like I saw Kelly out there, right? But I don't he know if he had any stats, did he? Yeah, I think he had a cat, one or two. I saw Mason maybe. Brown have a catch, yeah, number Mason 45. Then, but just didn't see a lot at yeah. all from the tight end. I didn't really see him. No. Nah. Interesting. So, all, I didn't realize we had that many. I know. It's, uh, it's a pretty big room. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll uh, take our last break. We'll come back, get ready to wrap things up here. Jamie says, ladies and gentlemen, Mason Garcia transfers back to play tight end and takes the number 80. <laughs> <laughs> Loses the job during spring ball, comes yeah. back. <laughs> Eric says, Jeff Carr wore number 84 and looked cool as a linebacker. Oh, dang. That's interesting. I'm going to say, like, Greg Ellis from North Carolina, who played in the NFL forever. I think he was, like, 88 in North Carolina. And it just it looked different at the time, so it was cool. Yeah. But I don't know. 80, 80 needs to be an offensive player. Our man, uh, Sonny, wore 91 as a tight end. Yeah. Chase Sonhol. Yeah, he did. We'll take a break and have more for you. Pirate Radio Live on a Tuesday after this. Rhythm keeps flowing, trips to MC. Sweet sugar pop. This is your What's New update brought to you by the new Greenville Auto World. What's new? The new Greenville Auto World has new owners, a state-of-the-art service repair facility that can help you with tires, state inspection, AC repair, and more. Greenville Auto World can work on any type of vehicle and offers great monthly oil change specials. What's new? You making a service appointment now by calling 364-8730. For award-winning service, trust Greenville Auto World Highway 43 across from the Speedway at Bells Fork. Pirates supporting pirates. Ahoy, Pirates! It's Lindsey Gray with Carolina Caliber. Winter ship has sailed and it's time to spring into turkey season. Stop by, mention this ad, and we will give you a set of Primo's Pattern Turkey targets to help you get sighted in. Speaking of spring, we're cleaning house with deals you can't miss. Tune in weekly for details and don't forget, we've got the largest selection of firearms and accessories in Eastern NC and over 60 years of experience in helping meet your firearm needs. Shop online or come see us at Carolina Caliber on Fire Tower Road in Winterville. It's a time-honored tradition. <laughs> Southern Ease has arrived, Pirate Nation. Whether you savor the bourbon flavor or indulge in other delightful options, Southern Ease gummies are here to elevate your moments. And here's the best part. You can enjoy them with an exclusive discount. Head over to southernease.com now and use the code PIRATE at checkout for a fantastic 25% off your first order. At Southern Ease, you can be living life to your fullest, one sweet moment at a time. southernease.com This is Aaron Williams with New Blue Service Group. People have been asking, what's new at New Blue? And I'm always glad to tell them that we now specialize in crawl space moisture control and encapsulations, along with septic system repairs and installations. As always, we offer plumbing, electrical, and HVAC, all while redefining service excellence. So go ahead, contact us at callnewblue.com. That's callnublue.com. Go Pirates! You want a sub freshly sliced to order? You go to Jersey Mike's. You want the perfect radio idea? You go to me. Like this. I'm a lone ninja warrior. By night, I glide unseen across the rooftops, watching my enemies from the shadows. By day, I go to Jersey Mike's, watching someone freshly slice my sub. My blade is called Shadow. His blade is a Berserber brand meat slicer. Clearly, I have much to learn about this land. Freshly sliced just for you. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Kawasaki's Ridge and Ridge XR family set the new off-road standard. Built for work and play. 
Ridge side-by-sides deliver versatile performance with a powerful four-cylinder engine and premium interior features. And for even more trail-taming power, the Ridge XR family offers more horsepower and versatility for rugged work or advanced play. This is peak premium performance. So stop by Ron Ayers Motorsports, Highway 11, north of the airport in Greenville. At U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone for $830 off with no trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan, which means you don't have to trade in your old phone for a new one. That must sound good to you, guy with a junk drawer. I'm going to sell it to my sister. Ah, who am I kidding? It's going right in the junk drawer. Get $830 off. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. In this new world of having everything delivered to your home or office, why wouldn't you start using Cellular Warehouse for all of your cellular deliveries? Toby Williams and his team are in the business of delivering phones and tablets every day to customers, which enables you to take the hassle out of visiting a store. The best thing about this great service is that it's free. Call Toby Williams today at 252-799-7051. That's 252-799-7051. And let his team make your wireless experience fast and easy. Cellular Warehouse, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent. Hey, this is John Gordon, author of The Energy Bus, and you're listening to Pirate Radio, the voice of the Pirate Nation. You're listening to Hour 3 of Pirate Radio Live. This hour of PRL is brought to you by Bud Light. Reminding pirate fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Bud Light, the official beer of the ECU Pirates and proudly distributed by Carolina Eagle Distributing since 1989. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. Taking a look at your stock market report. The Dow was up 63 points at 37,798. The Nasdaq dropped 19 points at 15,865. S&P was down 10 points at 5,051. That's your Wells Fargo Advisor Stock Market Report. For a personal look into investing, call Wells Fargo Advisors today at 756-6900 in Greenville. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC, member SIPC. Now back to the show. All right, packed show today. Thank you all for hanging out and enjoyed it. Thank you, interns. We'll have something for you to do next week. Do a spelling bee. Mm, Intern spelling yeah. bee. We'll have the uh, the final round in hour three when Bryce Williams yes, is here. But next I week. need to I need to ask um, what kind of word it is. What is it? Um, origin. Origin and uh, when they say use it in a sentence, you're gonna have to come up with the sentence. Using a sentence, noun, adjective, spell. Plethora. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you you can come up with some words. Spell <laughs> geographicals. Mm. That'd be a good one. The Bryce Williams Dictionary will be uh, <laughs> broken out next week. All right. Bostel. 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 Oh, you mean this it. one? Bostel. <laughs> Spell that. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you Wednesday, 3 o'clock, all new edition of Pirate Radio Live. Uh, Jeff Charles, take us home. Have a great night, Eastern Carolina. Thanks for listening to Pirate Radio Live, an exclusive presentation of the voice of the Pirate Nation. This is Pirate Radio, WGHB Farmville, 1250 at 92.7 FM Greenville, WDLX Washington, 930 at 104.1 FM Washington. This is the Pirate Radio Podcast. And welcome into the Pirate Radio Podcast. I am Shirley Rhodes on episode 14 of the Holton Naylor Show. The guys had a chance to visit with ECU strength and conditioning coach, Big John Williams. Hey, let's go. Let's Big John, what's up? What's up? What's going on? Thunder. Hey. <laughs> right there, what's happening? How you doing, coach? I'm doing pretty well, man. You know, it's a beautiful day in Pirate Land. Let's yes, go. Sir. Hey, appreciate you for joining. We know you're not a big interview guy, but hey, I had to text. I had to, I had to shoot you a text see if you could look out for the boys. Well, if anybody, if anybody could get me up here, you could. You know, I think you need that. <laughs> That's why you did it. I think you oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, well, let's dive right into. It. We ain't gonna take you long. We know you got to get to uh to the Rose, the Rose uh, South Central softball game. Shout That's out to right. your daughter. That's it. Um, two, two, twenty-five represent the two five. Let's, let's go. Two, <laughs> to five. Let's go. But yeah, let's dive into it. Um, first, you know, I got to ask about the QBs. How are they doing in the weight room? Uh, I know the fans want to know too. I, we've we've heard the on the field stuff. How are they doing behind the scenes in the weight room with the guys? What are you seeing so far? Yeah, they're doing a really good job, man. They're very highly competitive. 
which is fantastic for us in here. Uh, you know, they are you know, pretty dynamic.